Welcome to the Virgin Media Gamepad. We are here with a special guest. Hello. Ben Starr, voice of Clive Rossfield in Final Fantasy 16. How's it going, Ben? It's going really well, thank How you How have your me. last couple of weeks been since the game launched? Probably the maddest couple of weeks of my entire life. I can imagine. Yes, um, uh, yeah, since the game's come out, people have been playing it. <laughs> and they've As been, you don't. And they've been telling me that they've been playing it, and it's been, it's been a, a really wild ride for something that we've been doing for so long mm -hmm. that now it's out in the open and people are experiencing it and they're getting in their feels and yeah it's been it's been pretty cool well we we're about to experience it as well i'm just going to show people uh, a look at where we are we're at the virgin media gamepad right here in the o2 in london um i have a little montage this is what it looks like wow. uh it is a brand new uh, space to the left as you come into the entrance there is the playground upstairs which is uh has a bunch of xboxes uh, ready for you to play um, there is the cave as well, which is a sort of ultimate couch co-op uh, setup where you can play games with your mates and you can book that on the priority app. And then we are here in the stage, which is the dedicated streaming setup, mm. uh, which is packed with awesome streaming gear and such. And uh, that's what we're doing right now. We're playing. Yeah. Th this is the early part of the game, right? Oh, yeah. So uh, I've played for about two hours already. I've gone through the kind of prologue stuff. There's a bit of back in Clive's past of yes. things, and after about two hours, the title screen comes up. Yes. And so this is the start of the game proper. Yes, this um, is. We're in the, to catch people up, we're, uh, we're a reluctant conscript, is that fair to say, I in the Imperial say. Army that at the moment. Is, those are lovely words strung together in a yeah. very nice way to say. Real yeah. $10 words. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> they really are. Uh, and we've just nearly gotten mashed flat by a um, giant Titan icon. Mm. Yeah. What's an icon? Uh, an icon is a, a, a giant summonable beast. So there are a number in this world, and they are like the famous like summons from Final Fantasy lore. Mm. Uh, so you have things like Ramu and Titan and Shiva. And uh, icons are summoned by, uh, well, they are individuals in this world are manifestations of those particular icons. So um, a character might be the, the, the dominant of the icon of Garuda. So mm -hmm. that means they literally turn into them. Wow. Um, and uh, yeah, Clive is currently running through the remains of a battlefield in which the dominant of Shiva and the dominant of Titan. Titan have had a little battle. And you can see... Oh, this, is this is the big Titan fights that yes. you see, yes. And they are huge in scale. Big, big, There's big, a bit big, where you're running away uh, just before the title screen and things are collapsing and stuff yeah. like that. And this is, this is them. They've got to hunt down the dominant of Shiva who that is right there. Are these the baddies? Who are the baddies? Uh, everyone's the baddie, depending on who you are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So what you're saying is there's a complex, multi-layered exactly. story. Exactly. There isn't I've right or wrong. Yes. yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You will, you will sympathize with people on various sides um, in this game. So unclean aberrations born of blackest sin. That's quite a line. It's quite a line. Um, so... I, when, when you were presented with the character of Clive um, at the very start of this project, which was some four years ago, now, yes. Um, what did you make of the character? I thought he was rubbish. Didn't want to do it. I said no. <laughs> uh, I said I hate Final Fantasy. Never. Um, no, I. Um, uh, it was. It was pretty. It was pretty awesome. I was presented with a very, very, very long script, um, and uh, they said, "Do you want to play this character? Who's gonna? You're gonna see him through from 15." This. This is a lot, isn't it? Oh, so, so this character here is reluctant to prime or there you go, or use their powers, and so they threaten the Iron Kingdom. Right. So Shiva is inside this lady. Yes. Uh, this character is the dominant of Shiva, and uh, she is a deadly weapon of war. And you can quite clearly see that she's very reluctant to do any priming. Um, but we're about to save the day. Clive's about to swoop well, in. Or we're about to go and actually. Kill her. We're on a we're on a oh. mission to go and kill this thing because oh. oh. we are assassins. Are we the baddies? We are for the Sambraquar <laughs> army. Yeah, sneak in behind enemy lines and kill the dominant. Well, here we are. We're gonna do it. We're gonna test my my combat skills. So obviously, it's quite different to combat in this game uh, yeah. compared to um, uh, other Final Fantasy games. Yeah. Understood. Right. Uh, so this is who we're actually trying to kill. I feel bad about this. I feel awful about what's yeah. happening. Look, she tried to escape there, and I did my magic moves to. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, she's having. She's she's giving as good as she's getting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she deserves it. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is, is that what you're saying? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> That's not what I'm she saying. She as good as she gets. I'm, I'm <laughs> She's defending herself. Oh, She's defending herself. She's a very, very, very capable fighter. Mm. And if you'd seen the beginning of the game where she, where yeah. she yeah. slaughters <laughs> hundreds of people. Yeah. Okay, I think I've got a stagger. Yeah, there we go. Right, this is when you really just basically go in. Yeah. And do as many little moves and things as you can. So it gives you your multipliers and stuff. We're doing okay. We're like halfway through this fight. Yeah, you're doing all right. We're trying not to think about the consequences or the implications of our actions. You're not. Yeah, um, yeah how's the chat doing, Ellen? Chat, everyone is real good. Got some nice things. Oh, right. It's true. Just yeah. wildly charming on everything I've seen. Oh, wow. Yes. Well, the pressure's on now to be wildly I know, charming. I know. Two hours. Yeah. Wildly charming. You can't have used it all up on the other ones. Got I know, ones yeah. I feel like I'm in a Noel Coward play. <laughs> wildly charming. Wild yeah. Charm. Wow, just coming in. So affable. So um, effervescent. Well, it's easy, it's easy to talk about someone that you love, right? You want to come in and I, I love this franchise. Um, so the fact that I get to talk about it and yeah, encourage people to play it is really cool. Yeah, I, I mean, this is so we met a few, a few months ago now, we um, and I remember you talking my ear off about Final Fantasy, and I was yeah. like, this guy actually actually cares. You did say, movie. shut up, nerd. <laughs> uh, into my, uh, yeah. I was like, hey, Poindexter. Yeah, yeah, you did, yeah. But like you can it, and then I threw your backpack yeah, you on the roof. Exactly, yeah. You asked for my lunch money, <laughs> yeah, and uh, exactly. yeah, he stuffed me in a locker. It was, <laughs> it was, yeah, it's been it's been a big old journey, and I am I'm, I'm super excited that like. I get to talk to people like you mm. about it as well. Like, um, I, I so, so often have I recognised people whose content I watch, and now mm. I get to kind of hang out with them and do this. Um, well, thank you for joining us. Yeah. Um, well, you did force me. Um, you, you gave me no choice. No, I. <laughs> no, I've. Um, I absolutely loved it. I've been bugging you for for ages to come and chat. So thank you for having yeah, me. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Tell me. So when I when I've yeah. done bits of like. Yeah. Plays and things like that. You yes. do a play and you're like all together as a little company for six months and then or whatever and then you do your play and it's a week and then it's over and you get that kind of like come down. Like, yeah. What is it like after a a project that's been going on for literally four years? And do you have that same sense of camaraderie with your like castmates yeah. and things like that? And, well, it kind of just starts now, really. Like I, I, I did have this. So oh, Susie, yeah. who plays Jill here, we just recognised. Played. In fact, you played. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's there. They're gonna kill her. No. Ooh. Oh, this is cool. Wow. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, what's I'm Clive thinking sure. in that moment? Do it in Clive's voice. What's he thinking? He's, like, oh. He's thinking exactly <laughs> that word. He's thinking exactly that word that we just saw on the screen. <laughs> that I shan't utter. Uh, but uh, yeah, he's thinking He's thinking that, that four letter oh, word out there. Mm -hmm. um, uh, that uh, Tiamat is played by the brilliant Nick Blood. Um, do you all have cool names? We do, yeah. It was ben like you have to have a cool name. Blood. You had to have a cool name in order to, to be a part of this. Um, I actually believe that uh, one of the main reasons I'm even in this video game uh, is uh, Morgan Rushton, who's uh, part of the localization team, performance director, and he's probably watching now, so just shout out to Morgan if you're watching. He's the person who's kind of overseen and masterminded a lot of the amazing voice actors that you see on this. So if you like the voice acting, he is a huge, huge instrumental part of that. And just getting this just all star cast of people from like stage and screen and, and video games. Uh, the guy yeah. who plays uh, is it Lucas Gray in <coughs> Hitman is uh, yes. is in this game as well. Yes. Like, John Hopkins. Yeah, yeah. So he's great. I was actually playing um, when we were recording this. I was playing Dragon Quest XI. Oh, yeah. Hendrick in Dragon Quest XI. <laughs> and as I was playing that, um, he plays Elwyn, my father. Yeah. Good father. <laughs> father, is it you? <laughs> um, uh, it's just, it's just, it's just cool to. We've got such an amazing uh, roster of talent in this country, uh, and it's just great that we've been able to be showcased in this video game. Mm. Um, and now I, I'm so happy that like I can talk about it with people who I've worked with. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, it's 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 really it's pretty 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 cool. Um, and, uh, this guy. This guy's a real jerk. He is a jerk, isn't he? Mm. Real jerk. So the name of this. Uh, band of mercenaries are called the Bastards, <laughs> <laughs> and that is yeah, yeah it is, it is, fair. yeah, fa fair. And is that to do with their parental arrangement or no, they're just nasty? No, they're just nasty, nasty no, it is, it is to do with the fact that they are. Uh, <laughs> you actually all, can find that born out of wedlock. <laughs> yeah, you, if you press the um the keypad. Oh, my law button. Wait, my, my 
I'm not allowed to roar in this. How dare you? Well, it's because you're d delivering a yeah, sorry, an exciting was... performance. Thank you. I'm so I glad you're thrilled by it. I am, yeah, yeah it's good. Um, Ooh, I also, if you notice that the team bastards, so they're all named after um, famous um, dragons, essentially. Oh, yeah. So, so you've got Wyvern. Wyvern, Tiamat, Avis, BS uh, from Final Fantasy. That's cool. Which is quite neat. There are so many. This I, what I love about the naming of this game, like Koji really went all out with like, some of the naming conventions. And, like, there's, a, there's a boss later on in the game that doesn't really this one spirit to him. Oh, it's nice. a callback to the Final Fantasy film. <laughs> like, it's um, really cool. Yeah, I met uh, Koji at the uh, at PAX East section. We did a horrible man. Of... Horrible, <laughs> lovely, lovely horrible man. <laughs> I'm talking of horrible man. I'm getting passionate. Beaten up by two men. I'm doing really well. Don't get yourself out. There, there you got it. Uh, and now, now I'm going to... Scarlet Cyclone him. Yeah, exactly. With all the all this stuff. There we go. It's all, it's all going on. So what do you... I mean, like... It's quite an, a departure in terms of the sort of non-turn base. I, I know the, uh, the Final Fantasy VII remake sort of moved in this direction. Yeah. But this is a real commitment to. This is an yeah. action game. If you want it to be, right? Yeah. Well, I do. Th I do think that is. You know, this is a full character action game in which you collect various powers and you can choose which powers you want to use. But you know, this it does make it as easy as possible if you've never played action games before. That you can have these tiny accessories as much time. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, the idea is bring as many people into this franchise as possible. And um, they, they, you know, each game is completely different. And yeah. you've got Rebirth coming out at some point really, really soon. So, you know, you've got that amazing hybrid system which they did with, with the Remake. And they I adored continue. that. I thought it was so brilliantly put together. So yeah, it, was really it, cool. it kept the sort of feel of Final Fantasy VII. Yeah. With the with but made it more of an action. Exactly, exactly. And with with the franchise, like there's just you know right now there is so much on the horizon. You've got this and then you've got Reaver, you know, you want that kind of more hybrid action. So I think it's I think it's really cool and um, I like the fact that the, the, the game and at least Final Fantasy is playing with that formula. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, I love it because you get to play as Clive the whole time, so I've just been... I've been <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, uh, it's me. Yeah, it's all about me, I think. It's me. <laughs> um, it's um, been great. Just a little thing. We might need to bring ourselves up uh, yeah, yeah, volume-wise. Sure. I can do that. So that the folks at home can hear... Because, I mean, what's, yeah, we've got a voice actor in. We won't be able to hear them. So. Yeah, let's, <laughs> let's find that. Yeah. Can you hear us? Um, I am going to say there is a very cool moment about to happen. Okay, so right. Okay. I want the audience. This is respectful quite, silence. This is really cool. This might be the best character entrance All right. I've seen in a long time. Piping it up. <laughs> Go on, Clive. You can do this. <laughs> smoke. That's what I want to know. Who's he going to be? Is it the Terminator? No. <laughs> oh, it's your dog! Yeah! It's your and dog! And, and Sid. And Sid. <laughs> Sexiest Sid ever. This one. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> There he is, oh, there look he at the, is. The romantic tension already. <laughs> yeah, can, can feel it. Also, just like that real deep V yeah. right there. Yeah. That's yeah. The the plunging V. Yeah. A plunging makes it even v. deeper. Yeah. Ooh. The signature of this game is deep Vs. <laughs> <laughs> Mini Master in the chat said it's Zappy Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Zappy yeah. daddy. Yeah, you've got a lot of daddies in this game, don't worry. This is uh, <laughs> this is a game full of full of daddies. <laughs> Torgal. Torgal. so cute. Torgal is cute. Now, who is this? This is Benedicta Harmon. Um, oh, look at that collar. That's so cool. Yeah. Cute. How do you go to the bathroom in that outfit? That's why I want to know. Just magic. With the yeah, yeah, she bridges magic set away, doesn't she? <laughs> that's what I think about all, all of the costumes. <laughs> yeah, they all are all extremely yeah. awkward in the bathroom. She's got a little tooty pipe. 
yeah. A little magic tutti pipe. <laughs> so ben- Benedicta is the dominant of Garuda, right. um, of the icon Garuda, and uh, yeah, she's she's very very cool. And she may only have a relationship with Sid. Oh really? She has a relationship with someone else early in the game. It yes, appears so. mm. she does. She's a very, she's a very complex character who mm. has the ability to move between nations. She's very clever. We'll be mm. She's a real, um, what's his name? Aidan Gillen in Game of Thrones. Yes, yes. yes. Chaos uh, is a ladder. What's his name? Littlefinger. Littlefinger. Little yeah. 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 She's a real little finger. My <laughs> like Aidan Gillen. Chaos is a ladder. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Oh, Cain Willie says the fact that the trophy, the the, um, the fact that the trophy for petting Torgal isn't 100 percent on PSN is a travesty. I know. You got to pet him five times <gasps> to do it. Wow. Well, I mean that's fair. I'd do that anyway. Yeah. I, I'm 100 percent. Can we get it? We can <laughs> get it. We can get it during this stream, presumably. I yeah, we do. And we can do it right now, maybe. Oh, look. look he looks ready for a petting. You've got. Look, this is a beautiful reunion. You'll have to wait. Well, maybe we'll. <laughs> Oh, well that should count as one, that's a petting. Yeah. Should be down to four now. That outfit is outrageous, isn't it? Like, absolutely yeah. outrageous. Oh my gosh. You get costume in me. Do I? Mm. Yeah. No, don't worry, Clive, Clive gets a nice costume. He gets a nice costume. Oh, does he ever. So all the, a lot of these scenes I did with Ralph when we were actually in the studio together. Right. Yeah. So Ralph, cool. Ein, Ralph Einstein, who plays Sid, we did a load of this stuff together. So very famous actor. Yeah. 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 Really, just an excellent human being as well. Um, Great. Good to hear. Um, yeah. He's he was in obviously The Office as Finch. He was yeah. in The Witch. Yes. That yes. awesome horror film, The Witch. He's just, it's just such a like good voice. Enjoy. It's such a unique yeah. voice and like. He's in Black see, Flag as well, wasn't he? Yeah, yes, he was, yeah. yeah. It's just, it, oh, it's, so, it's such a rich voice. Mm. Love it. I think everywhere, like, I've, I've heard a lot of the, you know, amazing voice acting in this next game, not just saying this because you're sitting here, Ben. But it's been, like, there's a really good cast of, yeah. like, just, like, deliciousness for the ears. <laughs> yes, really. yes. It's just ASMR. That's all yeah. it is. It's not really... <laughs> But they again, what the what the team did is they really took their time to just figure out what the differing textures of people's voices would be. So yeah, like, how they match. Yeah. yeah, and it's it was a really like painstaking process that they went through. It wasn't easy to get the right cast for this. Um, I just loved working with Ralph. He was the voice of the Dacher adverts when we were. Oh yeah. So all I could do was uh, <laughs> Dacher, just some Dacher. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, so it, it must be a bit of a rarity in games. I guess maybe not so much these days, but to be able to, be able to actually play off against the actor that you're yeah. working with, like yeah. quite often I imagine you're just in a booth trying to react to things you haven't heard. Before. Yep. That, and you do get that, but to begin with, like it was, um, I was in the booth with Susanna, who plays Jill, with um, Ralph, who plays Sid, and with a load of other actors as well. They would literally, I would be in the booth, and then people would come in and we do sessions together. <laughs> and uh, it, I, I just, we just wouldn't have got the same chemistry if we weren't. I, I didn't get to know Ralph outside of it. It's the stuff mm. that you get to know someone outside of the actual recording sessions. You get that much better flow. Yeah. Mm. And there's there there is a really particular dynamic with Clive and Sid in the first parts of this game because um, of where Clive is. You know, he's he's broken. He's a completely broken man. Sid is a, a man who has been able to rebuild himself, and he knows who Clive is. And they have that really different dynamic, right? Clive is the straight man. Sid is the kind of the comedy relief. Mm. Um, and because Ralph and I were together, we, we managed to kind of figure out how we wanted to play that. Mm-hmm. Um, and as much as I always want to be the comedy relief, <laughs> yeah, I was not able to be at all. Um, you can be the emotional core. Thank you. You're either the comedy <laughs> relief or you're the emotional yeah, core. Everyone, lo- everyone loves the emotional core. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Always the funnest person at a party. <laughs> Standing in the corner, yeah. glowering at everyone. Yeah. Who's that real fun person at the party? Always the <laughs> emotional core, core. Crying, <laughs> in, crying into a bin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, amazing. Um, yeah, there's people in the chat um, talking about the outfits. That um, Bob P. Caramel, that outfit, outfit must be a pain to wash. I remember before, um, before a lot of this was. Um, uh, like fully mixed, all I used to hear was just Clive and Sid's leather. They'd done Don't. the foley on the leather, and that's all it was. 
Like it was even louder than our own voices, so you couldn't even hear any of the banter. It was just leather. Yeah. Um, how big was the script? How many pages are we talking here when it was first handed to you? Um, uh, 673 pages. 673 pages? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it was. Wild. Which was pretty wild. And it was like a film script. They gave it to me like a film script as well. Yeah. And it was all the, the changes as you went? and Of course. Well, everything changes mm. as you go over four years. But mm. like, you know, the, the story was there from the beginning. Mm. Um, mm-hmm. And uh, of course, things change and, and you have to adapt on the fly. And like, I'm not going to be able to read 673 pages before <laughs> I go no, into course, anything. Yeah. So often I go into the, I, I, was given, I was given the arc and then stuff will come in on a day-to-day basis and I would just have to react to it. Nice. Um, and so a lot of the stuff that you see, a lot of the emotional beats that happen in this game, I was reading it, I was sight reading it for the first time. I wow. knew what was going to be in the scene, but I didn't know what the words were going to be. Mm-hmm. And so some of my favourite work is like me just kind of reacting to the work that someone else had done. Yeah. And I guess that, that you know, provides instance of naturalism to the, yeah. To the performance. Yeah, it does. It does. And often those reads, the instinctual reads are the best. Like, Morgan, if you're listening, you totally know, right? <laughs> like, it's the instinctual ones. Often I try and do it better, but I do it significantly worse. <laughs> you get your head about it. I was, joking, I was joking with Morgan the other day about how the fact that, like, they would let me do, like, my own takes and stuff. And I would say 80% of the time it was the worst possible version of that line <laughs> that I could have done. But they let me do it. And then every now and again it would be brilliant. And it would be that, you know, the unexpected line. No, 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 I can do that by that. I can yeah. do that by that. <laughs> and and I, I imagine, like, to the, to the untrained ear, no one would have noticed the difference between any of them, but it's just you want it, you want mm. it to be perfect. Yeah. Yeah, I've been there. Um, so I've got uh, in the Discord uh, some folks who've sent us some questions as well. Um, and Tom Titherington asks, what is the most rewarding part of the voice acting experience? Um, the, the most... I don't really know because I'm still kind of like in the middle of it but like I suppose in the doing of it is the moment where you really feel like you've done it like where your intention and and what actually happened just meet I think because you've got the idea of the line in your head um, but sometimes it's really difficult to get that out um, Mm -hmm. and that is the best part of the the sessions where I come out like God, I wanted to do that and I achieved it and it doesn't always happen but like that in the actual the making of it but I don't know like the strange thing of now people are coming up to me and saying that the stuff that we did years ago is now they're experiencing it for the first time mm. and they're really liking it. That's really cool. And I've, I've made, you know, I've, I haven't, um, I haven't, I haven't um, hidden the fact that this story is very personal to me. So people have also reached out and, and expressed their own personal stories, which has been nice. Mm. Is it... Uh, is it the case that you sort of, as you played through this game, when it came out, there were sort of lines that you don't ever remember recording? Yes. Because there's just hundreds and hundreds <laughs> of them. Mm-hmm. Um, and then there are lines that I only remember recording. Like, yeah. Lines that I still say to this day. There's one here, actually, that I remember, because they released it um, really early on, which is Slept in Filth, Drunk from Gutter. Killed more men than I can count. I think it happens. Here. I didn't know it was her. Oh, leather. Oh. Squeaky leather. <laughs> <laughs> Not a great assassin, are you, Clive? <laughs> you're, you're going Is anyone coming? I just love these goblets. I, every time I saw these goblets, I thought they were very much like Indiana Jones. Mm. Right, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. That's the couple the of grail. carpenter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've fallen a long way. You've fallen a long way. <laughs> oh, yeah. mm-hmm. well, Ralph is so easy with his delivery of these mm. lines he clearly just had this amazing freedom to just be really laissez-faire about it mm. you can just see how much fun he's having with all of this Ducks piloting a mech duck thank you so much hello hope you're well Loved this game, though it took me about five minutes to recognise Ralph as Sid. Embarrassing as I'd met him. Ha- <laughs> yes. Yeah. Like, He's got one of the most identifiable <laughs> voices on the planet. He does. Um, he really does. He's um. He, it, you just open it again. Well, that's Ralph. That's Ralph Heinzen mm-hmm. right there. Mm-hmm. 
um, he always jokes how like he looks nothing like his character, but I just really think he should cosplay. As, uh, <laughs> he should do it. The deep, the deep plunging. Down. I've I've not yet seen a Sid cosplay at all. I've seen a lot of Clives. I've seen yeah. a lot of Jills. A lot of Benedictus, but I have not seen a Sid. So if there are Sid cosplay enthusiasts out there, get, get it done. Yeah. Oh, look at you contemplating your own reflection. Yeah. Contemplating that ill-advised, <laughs> contemplating that ill-advised face no tattoo. I think it's my a bad old look. friend. <laughs> That's a. We got drunk in Vegas, and I woke up with that on my face. Yeah. Sort of actually, I think there are people who've already got that tattoo <laughs> on their face. Not on their face. It's <laughs> <but laughs> on their neck, and I'm like that. You know, that's the the brand of a slave, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, that is a hard question. So I have a beautiful, gorgeous Yorkshire Terrier called Milton. So very cute. Very, very cute, cute little boy. Uh, but I grew up 13 years old waiting for this chance. Sorry, that one. Uh, I, <laughs> I've slept in filth. I, uh, I also grew up with cats, so I love cats as well. But I currently have a, a lovely, gorgeous dog who I, I love with all of my heart. But um, I could never choose, really. Um, no, like, I grew up. I grew up with Fudgy and Hendrix, and uh, Elliot Fudgy was so fat, <laughs> <laughs> so fat. You can't have a skinny cat called Fudgy. Fudgy just so maybe ate too much Fudgy. <laughs> <laughs> he was just the fattest cat I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. So both. Oh, there's one he believes to be dominant of fire. Yes, is he certain? So yeah, Clive witnessed his brother being brutally murdered by a second dominant of fire. Mm. And uh, he's, he's spent 13 years trying to find them. Cheers. Cheers. I mean, Cheers. yeah, you could just put that down on the table, Clive. <laughs> Best mate ready then. Yeah. I, don't re I haven't been concentrating because we've been chatting, so I'm not sure what I'm making ready for. You're making ready to um, go and uh, hunt this dominant second right. dominant of fire. Got or it. Find find the whereabouts. Someone. Mm. Yep. Am I undermining the pathos? Mm. Yeah, just do it. It's fine. I think we all are. <laughs> <laughs> it's goats. He's got a strange posture. He's a very tall man. Hmm. Goats was it? Perhaps he can help. Sid asked me to make ready for a mission. How does one go about making ready? Uh, you've got to buy na this classic, classic RPG, really. You've got to go and buy some gear. Mm. And you've got to make some things. Yeah. I've got a giant sword already, so yeah. I don't really see what the issue is here. Yeah, yeah. I'm afraid, I'm afraid Sid didn't prepare for your downloadable content expert. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. My deluxe collector's edition. But what about my sword? Warrior of Light sword? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Is he going to give me a little pointy stick or something in a minute? All right. So this is a classic case. We're going to get to know everyone in the hideaway. Yeah. And then. Oh, rum! He's giving me rum. Yeah. You got to give uh, it to Blackthorn oh. because he is. Um, I'm not allowed to drink the rum myself. No. Aww. Fair enough. Yeah. Surly Smith. Dead game. <laughs> got time for rum though, haven't you, mate? Yeah. That, that, that dot 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 makes it sound like a euphemism. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's so, do you know what? It's so hard to play a dot dot dot. How do you, how do you play it? It's just like, it's essentially the sound of going, uh, like that's, how do you play a dot dot dot? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you kind of just start a sentence like this and then just... How would you, ba okay, let's say a sentence started with a dot dot dot. How would you play it? So like... Well, if it's a Japanese game, you go... Like that. That's the, this was you know <laughs> this is uh, first recorded in English so yeah. he had to make it so it would be like just like that <laughs> 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 just do a he heavy slide <sighs> do that oh <laughs> yeah <laughs> I just you know what I love is when someone texts you and they put a dot 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 and like it's mm -hmm. the most passive aggressive thing yeah. someone can do because they've they've taken the time to yeah. really be like I'm annoyed. Mm. Yeah, I've had a few of those I, in my time. I have deployed a few of those. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're saying that, you're going, oh, Not to it. me, yeah. I'd like fine. to point out. No. Ellen doesn't pass ag me, it's fine. Um, I only pass ag people who know that I'm joking. <laughs> if I'm real mad, I just need to be yeah. red. 
Oh, I know, I know. I know I'm just going to send you dot, dot, dots from now on. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, messages. Alright. Let's try past uh, Ben, who's your favourite hideaway character? Um oh that is a I mean the person we're about to meet right now is Karen. Um Nice. Uh, is name? Karen owns the shop and as the story goes on you learn more and more about her and she's just an absolute badass. <laughs> she also sounds exactly like my grandmother. Oh. Uh, like the voice was uncannily the same because my family on my father's side are all from Yorkshire. And um it was every time I heard Karen for the first time I was like, Oh my god, grandma <laughs> <laughs> And just like that stern telling off. Mm. Mm -hmm. And one thing we, we thought was really um, fun about Clive and Karen's relationship throughout this game is how like he's constantly trying to charm her. Like, and she just won't be charmed. There's that, there's that feeling of, a, of, of that kind of like, will they, won't they sort of relationship of going, I'm not, not having any of this. And trouble. Clive's will they, and she's won't. Yeah, and she's always like, no, <laughs> no I won't have anything to Will they, like, they won't. Hi, yeah. Like, it is the equivalent. Clive was like, hi, Karen. <laughs> she's like, go away. What she's do you like, want? No. Yeah. Sling your hook. <laughs> There's a great uh, Geordie contingent in this game as well. Great. Yeah. Are they regionalised? Mm -hmm. So yeah. is it like the yeah. kingdom of whatever is the Geordies? Yes. So uh, Kingdom of the Geordies. The kingdom of the Geordies is what it's called. <laughs> uh, famously, the Northeast. Uh, Someone called <laughs> Well, I, I don't know if he's actually called that. We he's don't know his name yet. No, we don't know. Because the blacksmith was like Surly Smith, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not his I'm name. So it's Otto. It's good. It's our good Otto, friend Otto. Good he won't make it through the night. Oh no. Uh, so in this world, bearers, if you show any uh, ability in magic, you are immediately taken away from your parents, and you are branded, and you are sold as a slave wow. in this world. So um, people who are technically more powerful are reduced to nothing. Interesting. Um, it's all they unionize. Yes. I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's what this is. This is <laughs> it's a story about unionization. It's a story about unionization. That's what it is, yeah. Um, Taya is played by a brilliant actress called Michelle Fox. Um, Another cool name. Yeah. What the hell? Gotta have cool names. Gotta have cool names. Um, and she's very, very lovely. And is also in, I think it's Dead Island 2. She's one of the great characters in Dead Island 2. Oh, Dead Island 2 is great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, so many, there's, just, there's just so many actors who've done so much amazing work in this game. Mm. We had a, um, a rap party and everyone turned up and just it was that Spider-Man meme of everyone just pointing yeah, at each other going, I know you and you and you and you and you. He's going to be all right. But I'll need okay. to examine the thoughts in the summary. My work's just So they have different coloured face tattoos. Yeah, so hers is actually you notice her her brand has been removed. Ah, okay. um, and because there is a very particular process whereby you can remove your brand. I see. Um, and it's very, very, very dangerous and if you can't you, if you do it badly, then you will die because the ink that is used is poisonous. <sighs> um, ah. And so you can't do it. And so Taya is one of the very particular specialists, one of the particular physicists who has the ability to do it. Mm. Uh, and it's a very painful and dangerous process. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Hashtag spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. I haven't spoiled the game. It's fine. There's so much game. You couldn't possibly spoil there it. There is in, in so much hours. video game. <laughs> I really thought more people would have finished it by now, but it just keeps going. Have you finished it? I have finished it, yeah. And how long did it take you? It took me 40, 50 hours it took me to finish it. Mm -hmm. But I do everything. Mm -hmm. I'm the person. There's like really cool extra stuff you can do towards the end of the game. Um, like the Chronolith Trials where you get these like... Um, you touch them and then you go into this world and you have to use all of your um, abilities of a particular icon only and it's mm -hmm. like timed and so nice. you really get to grips with the battle system only using one particular icon let's say you haven't used titans or you haven't used um, garudas a lot during the game mm. it will force you to use them and you learn the best way and actually recently i, I didn't use odin's power at all and mm. then i used the chronolith trial and I was like, wow, this is how you use Odin. That's cool. And now on my second playthrough, I'm primarily using Odin. That's cool. So, yeah, there you go. Karen, here we are. Oh my gosh. 
<clears throat> Hello, Karen. Not her head. Yeah, she's such a badass. Does the newcomer think it proper to make demands of a Yeah, she yeah. is. Yeah, she's nice. Yeah, mm. she is. She is. Oh, Cameron Moyle in chat said, I got the platinum for it two days ago. Yeah. It took me 121 hours. Hey. Whoa. Wow. Whoa. There you go. I was really been really nice as people have been tweeting at me. Um, there, uh, they've been tweeting at me when they get the platinum trophy. Mm. That's what I really like. Because cool. I'm a bit of a trophy hunter, so I'm just like, yeah, go on, guys, go on, do it, do it, do it. Uh, just as a reminder, we are streaming from the Virgin Media Gamepad here in London. Uh, it's at the O2. Uh, it's free to just rock up and play at the playground. They've got a bunch of stations up there uh, with Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, all that good stuff. Uh, so do come and check it out if you're in the area. Um, if you're coming to a show at the O2, why not just come a few hours early and pop to the Virgin Media Gamepad? It's yeah. it's really cool. Now people know where we are. Yeah. They're they going to come down banging on the door like a zombie apocalypse. <laughs> <laughs> <Let us in. laughs> uh, this broadsword, I mean, it's you, like considerably you, worse than my excellent deluxe edition weapon. But keep I, it. I guess I'll accept mm-hmm. it. Just accept it, yeah. No, I'm not equipping it. Are you kidding me? No <laughs> chance. <laughs> This, you should have recorded extra sassy lines for Karen when you're like, I've already got the DLC weapon. Sorry, do you want me to say that now? Yeah, do it. Yeah. Sorry, Karen. I've already got the DLC weapon. There you go. <laughs> nice. There you go. <laughs> Sorry, I have a bit of a cold. <laughs> it's all right. It's probably, uh, it probably only accentuates the sort of... The raspiness yeah, of it. Yeah, the raspiness mm-hmm. of the Clive voice. Mm-hmm. Uh, just, to, just to say to the folks in chat asking, probably not going to talk about the ending to avoid no. spoilers. Yes. Yeah. We can so. talk generally about there has been a big response to the ending. Yes, right? it has. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I get messages all the time asking me about the ending of the game mm. and I, um, I can't talk about it. I love the fact that, that people want to talk about it. I think mm-hmm. it shows that the game has resonated with people and they want to uh, speculate about it and I yeah. look forward to people continuing to speculate about mm. it and I think whatever I think about the ending or whatever I know about the ending, I think it would be very unhelpful. Yeah. yeah. So that is my that is my take on it. Mm. Um, so yeah, thank you for, thank you. I guess I, I was saying, I probably got about 10 messages a day mm-hmm. of people asking me about the ending and what my interpretation is. But what is. you're saying is you know something about the ending. <laughs> I, 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 also, I'd, you'd hope that I do. Yeah. yeah. You know, you'd hope that I do. Said the lines. Yeah, I did, I did, I said them, I did them, I acted them out and stuff. Um, you recorded the unused post credit scene. Where yeah, 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 yeah. All the abandoned post credit stuff. <laughs> Are we uh, going into training mode? I don't. I didn't intend to. I probably need it. You don't, honest, need, but you don't need it. You're great at it. Yeah, I'm good at this. All right, I'm it's gonna lose How do I get out of here? Um, pause it maybe. Main oh, menu, training okay. options. Oh, right, training Main. options. Oh, wow, there's loads of options here. <gasps> yeah. Wow. It's very cool. If you press that, you can end training. When the training options of you press triangle. Oh, yeah, there you go. You got it. You got yeah. it. You've played this game. You've I have, yeah. Game. yeah. Proof yeah. that you've played this game. Proof, yeah, proof. That I'm, or that I can just read the screen. Yeah, or that you're good yeah. at reading. Yeah. God, I need to pretend as though I played the game. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Again, not saying what the ending is. Okay. But, uh, Mini Master said, ending had me staring at the ceiling for a good long while. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. You, like, <laughs> when, like when we when we recorded the final lines of the game, um, I remember all of us in the booth were a bit like, oh, 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 oh. and there was this real sense of like, oh, people are gonna people are gonna feel something. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we had that feeling too when it was recorded. I think we were also really proud of how it came out. So yeah, I'm glad that. It, People are responding to it. Was it? Was it? Did they? Was that saved till the last sort of recording session, or was it a kind of? No, I mean, bit? some bits were done. Some bits were done uh, in chronological order. Mm. Other bits weren't. Like I'd say that, like, I recorded the end, um, ending bits at various points, really. Mm. Like, mm. Um, but yeah, it, it's 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 an imperfect science, and sometimes I would say stuff, and then we'd have to maybe re-record some stuff um, because things had changed, or um, you know. Yeah, it's a to yeah. get this right, mm-hmm. you you want to get it right. So yeah. kind of no corners were cut in this process, and it was great. I got to I got to keep recording for four years. So <laughs> yeah, so it was. Great. Yeah, it was. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, yeah. great. I don't it's know fun. if you played it. I'm just really just good. Yeah, yeah, it was great. Just saying. Yeah, it was just great. 
I love this part of the game. Okay. Um, this is a great show. It's a great wood. It's, a great it's, a it's great such wood. a it's such good. A it's not a good wood. It's, it's, a, yeah. it's a great wood. Mike does like good wood. I do like good <laughs> wood. Yeah. The festival speed is happening right now. It is. Yeah. 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 Um, that's a great. It's, just a it's such a great, great wood. wood. Um, this uh, section showcases. Um, if you're not listening to us talk, which you should be, ignore the video game. Uh, the, uh, <laughs> no, listen to me. Um, the uh, Sokin's created this dynamic music, so um, uh, you'll hear this the normal music, and then when you get into battle, it will raise and they'll increase the number of instruments being played, and then it'll die down again when our battle finishes, um, which you see it in Stillwind as well, in the Stillwind marshes in the flashback sequence as well. Uh, um, I love this whole section. It's really a great showcase of Clive and Sid's relationship. Nice. And also Torgal was there. Good at all. Um, I, I love like well-executed dynamic music. The first time I really remember noticing it was, did you remember the old SSX snowboarding games? Right, oh and gosh. when you jump out off into a sort of shortcut, yeah, like yeah, yeah. elements of the music would be kind of like faded down and yeah. stuff, and then you'd burst back onto the to the main track. It would all yeah. kick off again. SSX was the first game I ever got on PS2. Nice. That and Time Splitters. Yeah, yeah. My first quality. And then SSX Tricky. And Tricky's my absolute. Well, favorite. it's one of the greatest games of all time. SSX yeah. Tricky hasn't been better. That, that era of EA Sports Big, of just like yeah. They did basketball, NBA they did Street, football, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh god, it was so good. And another, another game with a fine selection of voice actors. SSA is tricky. Yeah. They had uh, Lucy Liu was in it. They had um, oh, who's the chap from Titan? Billy Zane. Billy Zane. Oh, Billy Zane, yeah. Playing a sort of Zen surfer guy called Brody. It's brilliant. SSA is tricky. It's great. Remake SSA is tricky. Mm -hmm. Get on it, EA. Could, yeah. could they also do? Uh, I don't know. Maybe they don't know. Sledstorm? Yeah, Sledstorm. Sledstorm had Matthew Lillard doing the, the voice. He was, he was the commentator, yeah. Um, that's amazing. Yeah, that's a bit of video game trivia. I, I can never remember anything useful, but I can remember stuff like that. Basically. I uh, recently went to, um, I was telling Ben about this actually the other week, went to, with my friend, um, talking to Matthew Lillard, uh, Scooby Doo Double Bill. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, You're saying your friend is obsessed with Scooby Doo? Yes, yes. This, this one sounds good. Because so, they're absolutely amazing. Yeah. And then yeah. they're like, yeah, I understand Guardians of the Galaxy more now. <laughs> when you, fin you finish a fight by just kicking Correct. a monster in the guts, basically. <laughs> well, there's a Boom, group. there you go. <laughs> so, um, do you want to get the trophy now for Pet yeah, the dog. Yes, let's do it. Yeah, yeah. We've, we've got lots of requests in press, the chat for Pet the Dog. Press X to love dog. Especially Tala. It's like Pet the Dog, Pet the Dog, Pet the Dog. Oh, yeah. Toggle time. Says Toggle it. time. So I did all of these lines. Ooh. Sid, do you mind? We're petting Toggle. Yeah. <laughs> so I'd have I'd have my dog in the studio, and Morgan. Oh, really? Would say to can you direct your lines to Toggle? But the, all these lines were directed towards to my dog. dog. Yeah, that's amazing. Tiny Yorkshire Terrier. Yeah. And so did cute. the dog get paid as well? No, the dog did not get paid. Um, get that's outrageous. Uh, I actually I posted a, an image like of Milton that, just you? asleep at various points during oh. the recording <laughs> the booth, and people I went Toggle. VO sessions, then people actually thought that this tiny Yorkshire Terrier was the was voice. The voice of. We got, <laughs> got it! Trophy. Yes. Get it! If you haven't hit the like button on this stream already, what it's are you doing? I mean, that's got to be it, right? Now. Hit that like button for dog petting. This is such a lush forest, isn't it? Look at, look at this. Look at all this textury foliage and stuff. I mean, the flies have already started on the corpses. That's, that's great. Um, hey, Sid, sorry we were busy. Um, come on, hurry up, Sid. I don't know why you're wasting time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Got things to do. Yeah, exactly. Got dominance to murder, probably, yeah. or something. Ooh. Do I know? This far. <laughs> this far south. Oh. What the? Oh. Here we go. Oh, hello. It's a big lad. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he's called, big lad. Um, absolutely. Big lad. Yeah. He's, absolutely he's called Scaly McBig Lad. <laughs> That's what I call it if I was naming stuff in this game. <laughs> it's no more silly than Moogle, is it? Really? Let's go. Oh, <laughs> no. The entire Mike, Final Fantasy community Mike, will come down on you. Don't. Don't. I got asked whether I prefer Chocobos or Moogles at one point, and I just like. And don't. you said the wrong answer. Oh, I just, there isn't just a right answer. Yeah. Yeah. Like, uh... Imme immediately cancelled for whatever answer I give. I love Final Fantasy. Obviously, I love Final Fantasy. 
I'm I'm a big Chocobo fan, I think. Yeah, I am too. And, yeah, and the thing is, like, Moogle show up more in um, Kingdom Hearts, which is the series that I'm more into yes, than right, Final Fantasy. Oh my god. Because I basically, in the run up to Kingdom Hearts 3, I played 1 and 2, and I was like, okay, I get it now. Bad plant, um, bad plant. Are you excited for Kingdom Hearts 4? I am. I'm intrigued as to where it's going to go. Yeah. Um, Did you play the Disney DLC one. for Kingdom Hearts 3? No, I don't think I have yet, so I, I need to. I do believe that. that is what will. Because. We'll <laughs> I mean, it's a, it's a series that very much, if you miss DLC, any of the side games, you will get to a point where you're like, I have no idea. Yeah. I have no idea. I get, <laughs> I get to that point without missing anything. I just, yeah. Yeah, I just don't understand the story in Kingdom Hearts. It's so confusing. Yeah. You've tried to explain it to me before, and I just, like, I, yeah, I, I sort of go blank. But even so, I've played it, and I'm like, I think it's this. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 90%. I don't know. I just saw Rapunzel, and I got excited. Yeah. <laughs> God, I remember playing Kingdom Hearts 1 on the PS2. I'm just Aww. thinking it was the coolest thing. Yeah. I remember when it was announced and I was like, Disney are doing what? Yeah. Disney have agreed to what? That that came about, Kingdom Hearts came about because of a literal elevator pitch. All oh, right. Okay. Because Square yeah. Enix and Disney shared an office in Japan and someone went, we should make a video game together. Oh my word. And that's that's what happened. It's a literal wow. elevator pitch. One of the most important video game franchises of all time. Mm. And it was just because two people got in the lift at the same time. That view. It's like a Gwyneth Paltrow film. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> we'll make it, yeah. So, um, oh yeah, I'll say, I'll say it after the dialogue. Okay, that all important dialogue. Um, what I really like about Valestia is thousands of years ago, we're a society which are now we call, they call the fallen. Mm. Um, so it's basically a sky civilization. Um, and so all of the relics that you see that are, are basically like fallen relics of mm. this sky civilization that are like jutting out of the land. So imagine like, you know, um, cities floating in the sky. That's and, cool. Yeah. And they got into some sort of war that uh, caused them to fall. And Who's this? Who's this? I think this is um, my, mighty, mighty McMedium. Slay the enemy. Nice try, Joe. Ow, okay. I also, I also might remind you that you do have your icon abilities. Which I are do, yeah. I should really be using those use. yeah, yeah. more frequently. Like this, like this guy. This boy here. Yeah. Maybe this, yeah. this guy as well. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll just be like, I'll just be like, have you ever seen V? Have you ever seen V? And it's like the, 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 the bad man who's always like, <laughs> you be the guy, yeah. yeah. Be the guy. That bit in Devil Wears Prada where she's got the book of all the people who are at the party. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is Ellen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. pew, 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 pew. I will happily be your bag man. Haha, <laughs> 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 you jerk. Sucks for you. Ooh. Yeah, that's Double exactly. sucks to be you. That's exactly what Clive would say. Can you say it sucks to be you in your Clive voice? Sucks to be you. <laughs> nice. Yeah. There you go. There we go. That's my, my witty quip for Clive. Clive <laughs> kills something. What a loser. <laughs> you don't even go to this school. <laughs> Just anything, anything from something like Clueless or like yeah. 90s. 10 things I hate about so you. So get in loser, we're going shopping. Get in loser, we're going shopping. <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it. <laughs> On Wednesdays we wear pink. Yeah. On Wednesdays we wear pink. They wear black. They all wear black. <laughs> just people just want to give us um, quotes. Yeah, <laughs> from, please. I'll just say them as close. Like chat. famous, famous nineties quotes. In, uh, yeah. Discord. That would be great. That would be really lovely. It's a really great use of our time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whilst I have this power, yeah, let's just use like, it yeah, yeah. to promote quality nineties high school <laughs> comedies. Oh no, I've left. No, he's fine. Barks. They subtitle it, Barks. What is it, boy? So the great thing is, yeah, they're gonna say it. Oh, I've got animal instincts. Yeah, I don't. I don't need you, dog. I've got animal instincts yeah. myself. Thank you. Uh, quit trying to make fetch happen. I mean, girls is great. Oh my god, yeah. yeah. <coughs> quit trying to make fetch happen. <laughs> <laughs> Rory's just yeah. Like, okay. What's then, gonna happen? <laughs> yeah. What's gonna happen now is I'm just gonna end up just like reciting all of. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's well, quite. Um, yeah. EJ Matt says, Sid, I am your father. Oh, hello. I go over Star Wars already. 
Sid. I am your father. Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Just like, hello. <laughs> Thanks, okay, the last thing you need to know, Rory. Uh, after all, I'm just a girl standing in front of a boy asking him to love her. Okay. After all, I'm just a girl standing in front of a boy asking him to love her. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Virgin Media Gamepad, yeah, come on! The thirst is out of control. Um, Raymond Lee has Joseph said, say, what's in the box? Oh! <laughs> From Seven? From yeah. Seven. <laughs> Can you just say the, the end of that sentence, which is, okay. it's Gwyneth Paltrow's head? <laughs> God, don't give them! Spoilers, Mike! That may or may not be true. We don't know. <laughs> yeah, no, we don't know. It, it could be. It could okay, be. okay. He says that a couple of times, doesn't he? So it's yeah. gonna be. What's in the box? What's in the box? <laughs> <laughs> What's in the box? <laughs> Sorry if that got a little loud for that's everyone. All right. No, that's fine. That's fine. Uh... It's more like what's in the box? <laughs> what's in the box? <laughs> 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 oh, we got a West Coast viewer says life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. Okay. Life is like a box of chocolates. Life is like a bag of dasha. <laughs> there, nailed it. <laughs> no notes. Life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. Great. Um, this is very contemplative, Clive, isn't it? As opposed to angry. Yeah. Clive. I've got one. Can yeah. you do uh, it's, uh, Nicolas Cage from The Wicker Man? Not the bees. Not the bees. Oh God! I'll just be shouting, "Not the bees!" <laughs> Go back. <laughs> Why am I backing up for this? <laughs> Still short. Just Not the bees. Not the bees! <laughs> That's not even as Clive. That's yeah. just as me. I wish I, I wish I could do it. I, I it would just be mania, wouldn't it? <laughs> like, not the bees! <laughs> Alright, we've got some more from the Discord. Um, you go, Glen Coco. <laughs> You go, Glen Coco. <laughs> Very good. Um, got, uh, it's not a Sunday, it's a banana split. I don't know. I don't know that reference, though. I hope it's not rude. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. So what's it? It's not a Sunday, it's a banana split. Yeah. It's not a Sunday. It's a banana split. <laughs> oh, he sounds annoying. Yeah, it's just like, it's just a couple it's, of battle ones yeah. as well. Because I realise I'm doing a lot of like, you know, sensual ones. Oh, yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah, let's yeah, just yeah. get some. Um, you will find the Fafnir after all, Fafnir of the North. Swift wants us to go, uh, say, where we're going, we don't need roads. Oh, I like that one, yeah, yeah, let's go for that. Where we're going, we don't need roads. Yeah. Yes. That's a great film as well. What a film. Oh. I'm going to put it out there. Sorry, controversial. Okay. Um, I apologise if people hate me for this. I think Back to the Future 2 is my favourite. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Because you get Back to the Future 1 and you also get the future as well. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, and, yeah. I, and listen, I know people might hate me for that, but like, no, I, love the, favorite I favorite. Like, have the right. almanac at home. I like, I love Back to the mm. Future 2. It's one of my favourite films. No, agreed. Agreed. Fully on board with that. I mean, obviously, you know, it's, it's, it's standing on the shoulders of the first one. But yes. Yeah, it's my favourite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But two is the one where you've got like the hoverboard and things like yeah. that. Because oh, yeah. I, uh, I I remember what my, one of my old uh, my old when I used to work with Xbox, uh, we did I think we did a video for the Back to the Future Day, and we were like, what did their films get right? And yeah. uh, it was interesting. It was like, well, we've still <laughs> got those hoverboard things and yeah. the wheels. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not quite off the floor. But... All I wanted was that particular hoverboard. Mm -hmm. More than anything. I mean, it, what we got, let's be honest, like the, hover, the hoverboards we got were a crushing disappointment yeah. compared to what was promised. Yeah. Let's not, let's not sugarcoat it wasn't, this. It wasn't the cool, floaty, you know, PlayStation 1 looking uh, grey. It looked good, yeah. Yeah, it was lovely. Oh. Um, all right. Um, yes. Asparagus wants uh, the line, can do pig, that'll do pig. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That'll do pig. <laughs> Can I request you change pig to Sid? Yeah. That'll do, Sid. <laughs> That'll do. 
don't know why he's laughing. <laughs> why is he laughing? What's funny about it? Oh, Galactic Nexus. He's not the Messiah. He's a very, very naughty, naughty boy. boy. He's not the Messiah. He's a very naughty boy. Angel B asks, it's, it's a Unix system. I know this. Yeah, that's hackers. That's hackers. Um, it's a Unix system. Yeah, I know this. It's a Unix. I know this. Jurassic Park. Isn't it? Jurassic Park. Of Sorry, it's not yes. hackers. It's a little girl. Um, it's a Unix system, I know this. Unix? Unix. Unix. Which part of Jurassic Park is this? It's, it's when Lex gets girl. into the like, into the, system, uh, the security system and reboots all the power and stuff. Okay, let me do some acting. <laughs> so you can see my hands that I'm acting. Very method, very <laughs> method. Um, it's a Unix system. I know this. <laughs> very good. Very good. Um, While we were doing that, I killed. I bang, I'd like well some credit. Done, I vanquished. No one this. cares, Mike. Yeah. No one cares. No, not, everyone's, everyone's here. For oh wow! Quick, trying to make fetch happen. Yeah. Actually, this is a very cool section as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh no, it's still alive. Well, clearly, I was taking credit before this you. Oh come on! <laughs> oh come on! Watch this. Sid. Yes. What was it? Electric Daddy or whatever someone was. <laughs> Zappy Daddy. Zappy Daddy. Zappy Daddy. Oh! oh damn. That is that is the power of the icons right there. Yeah, yeah. He could have done that to begin with. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh no, but blood's coming out of his That's face. That's why he did it. We joke, we laugh, but he would have. It would have. So the idea that like when you summon these powers, it takes its toll on you, right? As a person, on your body. The curse will take you. Well, why don't you just let us do a bit more fighting now? I've, I've had the measure of that thing. Do you want to tell him? Tell him that? Yeah, no, you tell him in Clive's voice. I could have finished it, or whatever. Sid, I could have finished this. <laughs> <laughs> if you just give me, like, maybe I don't know, like three minutes. Four <laughs> max. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, there you go. Thanks. <laughs> I really enjoyed, so um, uh, Ralph had to do a lot of like fake smoking in this, but we had these big yeah. units on our heads and you can't put your finger mm. in front of the camera. Because it so blocks he, all the dots on your face. Yeah, well it's just like there's a big camera there, so it's like your hand would just go right in front of you and can't map your face. <laughs> so you couldn't ever do it, so watching Ralph have to kind of like manoeuvre, faking, putting on a cigarette. <laughs> it was very silly. I saw some uh, really fun, uh, uh, when I went for Xbox, we did a lot of stuff working on Quantum Break, and I was shown by some of the people at Remedy some amazing video clips of Sean Ashmore just like screaming, yeah. because of all the different things, like when you're fighting and stuff, and they want your face to be like, ah, yeah. you know, get it, and it's just like, there was one of him just in a box going, ah. Yeah. And then bursting into laughter so it's like, because it's so ridiculous. It's, it's like isolation. Like an office job. Yeah. It's like, it's in a box screen. <laughs> but that's what you just put it in a box. You literally just go, I'm going to make these faces and noises for you. And then yeah. you can just put them onto anything mm. you do. Yeah. I had to do like, uh, early on in the process, they just made right. me go, could you uh, now make a medium smile and a half smile? <laughs> and a small smile, and they would just use that to map to Clive's face. Did you have to do all the, the jumping sounds? Like, if I'm doing that, is that you going? <laughs> yes, that is me. Yeah. I can do the few now. Go on. <laughs> 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 nice. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right, cool. Very good, thank you. Yeah. But I didn't, <laughs> like obviously, obviously, when I was in the booth, I didn't know that's what it was going to look like. Mm -hmm. So it was just me yeah. guessing what like, yeah. a medium jump is, a large jump. Mm -hmm. And all the cut sequences that you see where Clive like lands or does something, every single one of those is an individual, like um, yeah, individualized sound effect. Yeah. yeah. Otherwise, you just you'd start to notice the pattern over a forty-hour-plus game. Yeah. You'd start to notice the pattern. Mm. Yeah. We're going this way. It's getting you darker. Go, you are going that way. Mm. Oh, it's getting scary. Oh, oh. Make the sound okay. when you're sliding down a. a... Okay. Oh, should we do it now? Sorry. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what sound when you when you're surfing down a muddy thing? Yeah. Do you want me to if I if okay, so if this if this was the nineties, it would be Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> whoa it's crazy! Whoa! <laughs> whoa! <laughs> uh, but it would be more like <laughs> like that. Yeah, That's yeah. what mm -hmm. it would be. Mm -hmm. Because you don't want to make too much of it. Like he's a no. cool he's a cool guy. You don't want it to become a meme. Yeah. 
is that is that something in your mind when you're doing these voice acting things like don't make it a meme don't make it a meme I mean I, a meme. Uh, t- you can't really decide because meme, memes me, make meme, memes gonna meme like <laughs> um, come to me a free happened and uh, that was in the revenge trailer and it just that just kind of happened really um, nothing to be done about that I'll be saying that at conventions <laughs> for the rest of my life and it's so nice that it's the loudest line in the game as well that people want me to say but like, well it's better than can you take a look at my dot 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 equipment yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, there's um, there's one that people have um, taken, which is actually I'm not even going to say it. But there is one later on that people got very excited about. Mm-hmm. about Harpoc- Harpocrates, who you meet in the uh, hideaway, talks about uh, s- some some nuts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have seen that one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Had his head in my, head in my nuts. <laughs> <laughs> um, and Edmund Dean, who plays Harpocrates, is like. Um, uh, again, Morgan would describe his voice as like Werther's original. Oh, it's yeah. the most like beautifully textured voice. But you can hear the glee in his face when he goes, "Hey, that is head in my nuts." <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's just so silly. There's so much like yes, this is a, a dark, a dark game where lots of dark things happen. But mm. there is so much light and joy in it mm. as well. And we mm-hmm. had so much joy making it. Like it was always those sessions. We'd always have a laugh. I, I've I, I tweeted about this, but um, every time we'd complete a side quest, mm-hmm. uh, Sam Papworth and Fred Proud, two um, amazing audio engineers that we had, um, they would play the Golden Girls theme music <laughs> every time we complete a quest. Right? Amazing. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, so every time you'd be like, thanks. It'd be like, thank you for being a friend. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. And so like the Golden Girls, they are, they are canon to me. Oh, and right. I just I, like, when, if this game ever comes to PC, I just want people to mod. <laughs> the Golden Girls into it. Just mod it straight. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. Okay, I've got some more lines for you. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Um, Big Boss Fan 82 says, for me, it's Tuesday. Oh, it's the uh, bison from the Street Fighter. Mm-hmm. For me, it was Tuesday. <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice, nice. Also got, I am serious. From, this is from Skeleton28, sorry. I am serious, and don't call me Shirley. Oh, yeah, yeah nice. nice. I am serious, and don't call me Shirley. Nice. Good, good. Um, we've got uh, Germination says, Spider Pig, Spider Pig. Does whatever <laughs> a spider pig does. <laughs> okay. The more tuneless, the better, yeah, I think. I kind of want to put a little bit of tune in it. Okay, like a little it's up bit. to you. It's your read. It's your so spider pig, spider pig does whatever a spider pig does. That's the yeah, line. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Spider pig, spider pig does whatever a spider pig does. <laughs> I can that's what he was just thinking in his yeah, head. Yeah, in his head he's like, what, what does a spider pig do? This is the idol. So if you, if, you don't, <laughs> if you don't move for a while, Clive will just go. <laughs> <laughs> spider pig, spider pig does whatever a spider pig does. <laughs> Oh, I, everyone knows that. Why does everyone know that? Because the Simpsons movie just was. Yeah. It just was. Yeah. That is what I remember from yeah, that yeah. film. Yeah. I'm sure they wrote some brilliant jokes for that film, but that's yeah. all anyone remembers. I, my favourite joke ever from the Simpsons is just, it's just so simple. Mm-hmm. But um, it's Homer stands outside of a gym mm-hmm. and he goes, Gaim? What the hell's a Gaim? <laughs> and then he walks in to the gym and goes, Oh, a Gaim. <laughs> I just think it. I don't think I could ever write or know a better joke yeah, than that. Right. It is. Okay. It is just perfect. So good. <laughs> oh. God, it's oh, good. Man. It's very good. Yeah, we're, we're big Simpsons fans, um, especially like Andrew and Jane. I think um, Andy. Luke's like, Luke, Luke and Andy and Jane can like quote, quote it, it yeah. really well, especially Luke. Well, yeah, he's, uh, Luke and Andy. I mean, Luke used to watch them before work. Yeah, like, that, that was basically repeats. Repeat. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's so. your? What would yours be then? What would your be? Your go to? Gosh. Um, Trebepeli. Trebepeli. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to think of specifics. Um, but like, do you have like a TV show that like you would go? I know quite a lot of what would be like your equivalent of The Simpsons. I don't know. No, I have watched a lot of Simpsons, but. Do you have like, an, are you like a Friends fanatic? Or I did watch a lot of Friends growing up. Because yeah. I know some people who, some of my friends are just, I know all of 
Yes. Mm. I have I have a friend who like has the box set but still watches it all the time on Netflix because they're like, well, you know, it's easier and I watch it all the time. So yeah. uh, and all that sort of stuff. So yeah. Um I used I, to. Be, I think I used to be able to quote Futurama. Yeah. Almost mm. entirely. Well, I've mean, not watched it in years. Mine was the first three series of Family Guy. Oh, yeah, like okay. when they only had the first three series of mm -hmm. it, and they, then they cancelled it. And, I and had then I had them on DVD, and yeah, then you watched yeah, them. Yeah, and I just kept watching yes. them again and again and again. Yeah. Now I don't really watch it at all, but like I remember the, like those being yes. just at the time. Yeah. Because what was I like twelve years old? The funny thing I'd see. Oh look. Can I give a shout out to Nina Indis as well? I mean, if I've said this before, she's absolutely amazing as Benedicta. And mm -hmm. it's just like, her, everything about what she's done in this game is, is amazing. And, I, and all the plaudits for Benedicta should just go to what she's done. I think she's, she brings out so much emotion in this character. Did she have to pretend to smoke a tutti pipe in her using... No, she just smokes a tutti pipe anyway. She um. just has it all the time. She brings it in. <laughs> It wasn't, yeah, it wasn't a character design. They just had to put it yeah. in because she kept doing she it. She just kept doing it. <laughs> Can you stop lighting your pipe with your finger, please, Nina? Um, Everyone's like, got such great hair. Yeah. Everyone's got such good hair in this game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Apart from that guy. To betray your countrymen for the promise of coin? Oh, she's bad. Oh, no. She's a baddie. Oh, oh is that his perspective? Yeah. Um, it's gone badly wrong for him, hasn't it? Yeah. It's Welchie. What's in the box? Alright. Benedicta Harman. Benedicta Harman. Man who believes in each intelligence. Did you have to keep being reminded how to pronounce Wulud? Wulud. Wulud. No, there was actually, there's a character later on that you meet in Lost Wing called Quinton, and I could never say his name. I kept calling him Quentin and oh. Quantin. And, <laughs> and I would have to say, um, uh, Ollie, who's one of our other performance directors on the localization team, he'd go, Ben, it's Quentin like Clinton. So I'd go, Quentin. <laughs> I'd have to say, Clinton, Quentin. I have a friend called Quentin, so. I oh, wow. Been. Go you then. Yeah. You could have nailed it. I would have been fine. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What I'm saying is, you should have given the gig to me. Yeah. <laughs> um, Again, shout out to Morgan Russian if you're still watching. Morgan voices Midnight Raven. Really? Yeah, he does. Oh, sweet. Wow, he's kicking my butt. Kick, kicking, your, kicking your bum. Kicking my big feathery butt. <laughs> icon enhanced butt. Too slow. Nice, too slow. <laughs> <laughs> too slow. Seems to be used. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> seems to be used. Because you hear like too, too slow and sick and toggle all the time, so we should just come up with like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sucks to be you. <laughs> Loser. Oh, there's one of my favourite lines like that. It's in the Spider-Man game. And it's when the, some of the, the enemies shout out, I'm in an ass-kicking mood. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the best, the best, I was talking to a friend about this recently. The best one is uh, there's a very specific like circumstance in the Hitman games, yeah. Um, where you're, oh, I'm, hang on, I'm just doing a cinematic something. Oh. Like that. Yes, cinematic. A clash. Cinematic clash. Oh, I need to repeat Ooh. it. Okay, right. So in the in the Hitman games, every so often, like if there's a couple of guards in the room, one yeah. of them will be like, "Get him, Steve!" And if you then <laughs> if you then punch the guy out, the guy goes, "Next time, Steve." <laughs> it's, like, it's really funny. Um, is is this the world of assassination Hitman game? Yeah, yeah, they, 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 more recent ones. I love them. They like, love the ones. They are some of my favourite modern video games. I really think that like I've had the most fun playing mm -hmm. those and replaying those missions. So we have a couple of like Easter egg sort of shout outs in those games because we've played them so much on um, on our channels. So mm -hmm. in Hitman 2, yes. so the second of those games, um, oops, sorry. Uh, there if you go to the medical centre in the Miami level, yes. uh, my Andy's and Jane's names are all on the medical um, really? like board in there, like as patients, and they're all like all their ailments are sort of tied to the way we play the games. Mine is like uh, severe burns because I like to blow things up in those games. And, That's and so cool. Yes, and one of them's like dehydration or something like that. Um, so there's that, and then also in the there's a level in Santa Fortuna in Colombia. So you might want to use a high potion. Yeah, I'm going to use a high potion. <laughs> <laughs> um, Mike, if I could, I'd want to use a high potion, not, sir. Not to, yeah. to backseat too much. Yeah. I'm sorry, sir, if you could use a high potion. I don't want to die. Can you tell your friend Morgan to knock it off? Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, uh, and then in, yeah, in the Columbia level, there are like people with 
uh, Spanish versions of our names um, very cool. uh, mm -hmm. that you can find. Uh, I, do you remember when Sean Bean was a Yes, yeah. 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 God, I, I exploded him as well. Did you? Yeah. Yeah. With an exploding head. They're so good. They're so good. Uh, my sword! Or his sword. Someone's sword. His sword. But he's got a backup sword. He's thought ahead. Hey! <laughs> the white not cinematic clash. Gun. Clash, clash, clash. You can do Ooh, this. More clashing. Nearly. On one more. Good yeah. luck. For good measure. The sparks! Good oh, night! Wow. Oh, wow. He wasn't a very good night, though. No, he was a good night. That's really good. I'm Thank actually, you. I'm actually really impressed. Like, <laughs> it sounds like I'm not, but I'm actually just a bit like, that was really good. Thanks. <laughs> oh, right, I've got some more. Once, once this all learns, no. it's gone no. through. I've got some more lines okay. in the Discord. You do look the part. <laughs> Though you fight like a true shield of Rosaria. <laughs> oh, he's look, you looked away. Yeah. He was like, hey, mm. hey, yeah. let's be friends. And you were like, oh. no, because he's out for one thing too, and one thing only, and that's I'm revenge. Too, I'm too tortured to be friends with anyone. That's what I say. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I said today when you were you're like, hey, Ben, how are you? I'm sorry. <laughs> Bit of law for you right there. Yeah. It's law, law dump. Law yeah. Yeah. God, there's law everywhere. It's, it's dripping out of the seams <laughs> a bit. It's a bit greedy that he's got two swords. Yeah, well, if, it, if it's good enough for the Witcher, it's good enough for him, isn't it? True, actually, yeah. It's good enough for Geralt. Yeah. Oh, I'm so tortured. That is a really good impression of me. Oh, sorry. I wasn't even trying. I was just <laughs> I'm <like>. right here. <laughs> Do you mind? Waluda. Every time I see it, I'm just like... Waluda like Paluda. Right, okay. The famous word Paluda. Yeah. I see one of those Paluda people, are you? Yes. All right, God. If people have lines, they've got to they've got to give them now. Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, Emmy Dem says you're only supposed to blow the bloody doors. Oh off. yes, here we go. Yeah. Is it you were only supposed to blow the bloody doors off? I think you're it's your you are only, only supposed to blow the bloody doors off. You're only supposed to blow the bloody doors off. <laughs> there's a there's a there's a hint of Statham to it. There's a hint of statement what, to, to, to Clive's to Clive. voice, yeah. Yeah, let's, I'll take that. I'll take yeah. that. I actually saw a trait, I saw a poster for the Meg 2. Yeah. Um, I was like, I'll watch that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll watch anything Statham does. Uh, did, you, did you guys watch Operation Fortune, the most recent? No, um, I've not seen it. It's, it is, it, it's one of my favourite films I've seen this year. Because wow. it's complete nonsense. Yeah. It's like they've given Guy Ritchie just millions of pounds to go and make a stupid I spy thriller. Yeah. It's yeah. nonsense. Uh, would recommend Amazon Prime. Really <laughs> not, <laughs> not, not sponsored. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Other um, streaming services are available. Obviously, yeah. Um, I've got a, I don't, Andy D seven seven three. I'm not sure what this is from. Okay. And now I'm sitting in the car uh, by myself, uh, talking to myself. That's chaos. Could you? Could you? Should we Google it? Could you, uh, Andy? If you could shove that in the in the chat in the Discord um, thingy again, and just just let us know what that's from. Yeah. You might be going, oh, that bit, right? Um, okay, I've got um, Riviera Kid says, on second thought, let us not go to Camelot. Camelot, <laughs> tis a silly place. <laughs> yes. On second thought, let us not go to Camelot. It is a silly place. <laughs> <laughs> good. Good. I wrote my dissertation on that film. 
I love oh. that film. It's one of my favorite yeah. films. I did. Um, I have a history degree from the University of Durham, and nice. I wrote my dissertation on the importance of historical accuracy in film. <laughs> and I wrote my dissertation. <laughs> yeah, I chose *Once Upon in the Holy Grail*, *A Knight's Tale* with Heath Ledger, oh, yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. *Kingdom of Heaven*, and then um, like an old kind of like French film. Uh, yeah, and I just talked about why different phases of historical accuracy in that point where like Ridley Scott was making his historical epic oh, yeah. oh, yes. history, you know. Course, yeah. With that King Arthur film with Clive Owen, mm -hmm. it was like the real history, that period where we were absolutely obsessed with mm -hmm. like rewriting, telling the real mm -hmm. story. Yeah. yeah. But to be honest, I just want to write my dissertation on Monty Python. <laughs> 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 That's all I wanted to do. It's such a good film. Yeah. I also, with, with The Night's Tale, I had such a crush on Shannon Sossaman. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think most people did, didn't yeah. they? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Also, Heath Ledger. I mean, Heath Ledger, Paul Bettany. Mm. Um, what 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 a cast! Rufus Sewell. Mm -hmm. It's incredible, and it's sort of like it just was one and done, wasn't it? There was no sequel yeah. to it ever. Yeah. It was just no. like it's just this really interesting. And it, it, you know, like if you look at like Willow, right, the series that was on Disney Plus recently, um, they did that thing of like having like contemporary music in there, yeah. and that was like a Knight's Tale kind of kicked that off as yeah. a sort of like clash between sort of yeah. medieval fantasy-ish stuff and, yeah. and like I mean that is the basis of what my dissertation was about is like the ability the inability of history to take away modern sensibilities and how anything we we read is seen through the lens of modern society mm. Mm. and so like a, a Knight's Tale is a really great example of like those jarring things I think there are like the, the other thing you've got to remember is that like people you know people from different eras there's, there's something fundamentally similar about people and they and yeah, and what they do. Like I, I yeah. remember reading um, *A Midsummer Night's Dream*, right? And I was reading about reading the Demetrius role. Yeah. And the more Expertly, I read it, I, I, well. obviously. Yeah. Um, and the more I read it, I'm just like, this guy is just a spoiled rich kid yeah. who has never been told no before, mm -hmm. and he's not used to being told no. And like once you see it through that lens, like a a, a lens you understand as a sort of almost like a trope. Yeah. Um, it just makes perfect sense. And, and suddenly all this sort of Shakespearean language just kind of falls into place. And it's also like why, for instance, we are watching you play a fantasy game mm -hmm. and yet people still attach themselves to whatever it is. So whether it be Final Fantasy or whatever game that it is, yeah, you try and access game, right? humanity, right? Mm -hmm. And you try and reflect mm -hmm. modern society through this lens. So, yeah. So, uh, the, Hit me. The, 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 and now I'm sitting in the car uh, yeah. by myself. It, it's, a, it's Jeff Goldblum isms, of course. Okay. Um, it's Ian, Ian Malcolm. Oh, Jurassic it is, of course. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so what's the line? And now I'm sitting in the car uh, by myself, uh, talking to myself. That's chaos. Okay. And now I'm sitting in the car by myself, talking to myself. That's chaos. <laughs> Very good. Very good. God, Jeff Goldblum. That is that is a man. That is a man who has created mm -hmm. an entire industry of himself. Yeah. <laughs> it's what yeah. My my mother has met him and she was just like, I was like, What's he like? She was like, He's very tall. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you took away from me. She's like, it was so nice if he's very tall. Um, one of my favourite ever episodes of Drag Race was the one that he was on it, which was just complete anarchy. Yeah. Just mm -hmm. He can't really be that confused in real life. I think he's putting it on. I think he's I pretending to be more confused than he actually is. You're not buying it. You think it's no, all right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You come up to him like, hello, I'm being, actually Jeff Goldblum. Right. <laughs> it's just being charmingly befuddled. Mm. Um, right, so perfect one seeing magic user so swift uh, asks do not take do not take me for some conjurer of cheap tricks oh yeah do not take me for some conjurer of cheap tricks Ooh, angry. He's angry. I, love it. I just thought i'd change it up because it was a bit too sultry i've got a phoenix inside me this is one of my favorite moments by the way all right okay let's get ready oh oh what's happening it's nothing dramatic it's just oh, okay it's just a character moment. Yeah. It's just a choice character moment. It's just Sid being great. Boom. That's bad for you, Sid. We've already established that's really bad for you. Clive! <laughs> <laughs> yes! Clive! <laughs> uh, Gav, played by Christopher York, another amazing actor. Nice. Really, really lovely man. There are so many great actors in this. Yeah. I mean, imagine if I went, this one's a rubbish actor, yeah. though. Uh, this one, not so great. Yeah. 
Needed work. <laughs> it's amazing. I'm amazed they didn't recast this part. <laughs> <laughs> Not like he was holding a sign. Well, I, I love uh, Clive and Gav's relationship throughout mm. this game as they get to know each other. Um, it's a really lovely, um, kind of brotherly relationship that they Clive develop, Apple. which is really special. Nice. It's really subtle. It's a really, like, yeah, as people play it, people who have played it, they'll, they'll know what I mean about it, but I, I think it's one of the really special, understated relationships in this game. That's the nice thing about like a game that's 40 hours long. It's a bit like a TV series, right? Like, arcs can take place over hours yeah. and hours rather than feeling, like, forced. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you know that thing when you're, like, uh, you're watching a film and, like, there's two characters who hate each other and then yeah. within about 20 minutes they've fallen in love and you're like, but where was the, where was the progression between <laughs> yeah. you guys thought each other were jerks and now you're, like, in love with each other? And um, pe people often want to see that consummation of whatever that is mm. really, really early on, but yeah. you know, it's quite nice to see it. Yeah. See that payoff. It's only a matter of time before we seize our quarry. Also, I'm just going to give some love to Geralt right here. His name is Geralt. Right, um, just to clarify, that's Geralt. Yes, I, I like Geralt, even though he's Waluda scum. Oh, um, no. he is, he's great. All habits die hard. Yeah. All is in hand, my lady. They will not be spoiled. Hang on. Oh, my God, that's a bit if you want, I'll just act over the top. Just act over the top. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Strong beard game here. Yeah. Huge beard game. Oh, disgusting. Another rude word. <laughs> First word out of her mouth in this game is rude. Yeah. Yeah, it is. You text it to me. I know. Immediately. To where I was playing this last, <laughs> night. last night. You did. I was like, <laughs> just the rude words. I was like, I'm sorry, Mike. No What's context. The context. <laughs> this. I'm trying to have my dinner. And instead of killing them, you lead the uh -oh. I don't want to get in a scrap with her. Definitely. Like, I feel like. If I'm going to get in a scrap with her at all, it needs to be maybe late game when I'm extremely powerful. Yeah, it would be waste. She is quite wasteful of people, though, isn't she? Just stabbed someone, yeah. stabbed another yeah. person. Really doesn't value lives. Yeah, she, HR would have a feel <laughs> yeah. with her. That, I think that's rule number one for HR. Don't kill people, probably. Yeah. And the rest of it is, you know, lower priority. Uh-oh, oh, oh no. how badly is this going to go? It really depends on, on how good you are at this video game. Not very. So how bad's it gonna go? It's fine. She is summoning what they call an eggy. An eggy? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm glad you were able to say that with a straight face. I am, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, someone's eggy. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's horrible. Ooh. Yes. Oh, it's cool though. So they are. So eggies are kind of like um, manifestations or. Or like protectors of icons, so um, right. she has two. Why don't this I have one? one of them? You, right now? Yeah. Well, you are one, what technically. You right. Are the, you are the. Um, <laughs> you are. Well, you were. Um, oh, I was a protector of. Protector of the Phoenix, yeah. Yeah. So no, that's why you are. Ruined it. Even though you are not a dominant, you have the ability to use the power of the Phoenix. Mm. And so when your brother gives that to you, that's what you want. Hmm. So yeah, they come in different forms depending on the depending on the icon. That was good. Yeah, it was a precision yeah, dodge followed by an iconic strike. Everything I do is like it's just hyping yeah. you up. It's just kind of <laughs> yeah. Oh, I got absolutely yeah, that was yeah. close though. Um, then a loser's no, I crush. <laughs> yeah, I absolutely ate that one as well. Oh, my timing. My timing. My timing's all off. You can do this. You hope so. There we go. Now what you do, what you do have is you obviously in the bottom corner you've got like your little potion. Yeah, so stone skin, right? You do. I've never used that. Is you, it good? You don't need to, but I was saying if you press on your D-pad, I mean, it wouldn't necessarily do it now, mm. but maybe explore it in a bit. Um, if you were to press left on your D-pad, it would bring up toggle actions. Oh, so hello. You can command toggle to do things. Toggle, maim. Yeah. <laughs> well, you can you can ask him to ravage, and you oh, can really? ask him to sick, and you can ask him to. Oh wow! Oh, heal me, heal me, Toggle, heal! Come and lick my wounds. <laughs> lick me, boy! <laughs> lick me, boy! <laughs> I don't know if it worked. Yeah, I actually. You know what? I'm gonna go. It's, it's 
slowly climbing up. Okay, yeah. but you know what will make it climb up quickly? A high potion. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a good, like, background buff. Alright, teleporting over there. Oh no. Oh like, no, I'm not. That was a bad time to teleport over there. Right, look. Serious. For serious. Oh, no. You did it. Get nice. in there. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. go, 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 go. Magic burst. I'd like to make this eggy magically burst. <laughs> <laughs> crack that eggy. Yeah, crack that eggy right open. There you go. There's a... Oh, he did a flip. Hey, he did, he did a flip. Hey, yeah. Good dog. Such a good boy. Such a good boy. Good boy. There you go. There you go. Leveled up as well. <sighs> Certainly did. Certainly did. Amazing. Well, well, well. Look at all that. Sharp fangs. 15 sharp fangs, a couple of magic dashes. Why right? Why right, yeah. Like pyrite, but with a W. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Here we are. You've got some fight in you, <gasps> even for a brand dude. Yeah, we ruined your eggy. Eggy, <laughs> eggy on your face, lady. Yep. Why? Eggy all over your face. <laughs> That'll show her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll get you. <laughs> this how you recruit all of your charges. <laughs> oh, Sid. Sassy Sid. Yeah. That's oh. that history you were talking about, isn't Kindred it? Yeah, yeah. in the chat, Eggy with soldiers. Yeah, Eggy with soldiers, yeah, indeed. <laughs> That's really good. That's good. That is really good. That's solid. You betrayed your kingdom. That is really good. <laughs> <laughs> so, the quality of Thanks everyone. Thank you everyone. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Because I've had enough of you and your. Even when we were seeing these characters and like Clive used to have like Play Doh hair and stuff, like in mm. the early forms of seeing these scenes, mm. Sid always looked attractive. Mm. Like Clive looks like like a faceless <laughs> <laughs> character designed by an enthusiastic three-year-old. Right. Yeah. Sid was always like a ten out of ten, <laughs> beautiful man. Just as the artistic director has a clear favorite. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> She's far too strong for you, Clive. Just leave it. <laughs> she's mm. not worth it. You're like that guy at the bar. Yeah. Leave it, mate. Leave she's it, not mate. worth she's it. Not don't, worth don't it. do it. Clive, no. Clive, no. She'll, she'll beat you up. <laughs> yeah. Wait, who's that guy? I've forgotten who that is. Gav. Gav, that was him. I've got a mate called Gav. You've got a mate called Gav. Yeah, I've yeah. got a mate called Gav. Got a mate yeah. called Quentin. Got a mate called Gav. Got, got a driving mate instructor called, called Clive. Yeah, yeah you said that. <laughs> My driving instructor is called Clive. Amazing. Every time I see Clive, I'm like, I yeah. remember how to do a reverse park. <laughs> <laughs> so I was saying, this, this game this game is making Clive's, it's bringing Clive's back in fashion. Yeah, right? it is. It's yeah. bringing the name back. It'd yeah. be like Khaleesi, only less problematic. Problematic, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have a, my friend used to work at um, Disneyland Paris, mm. and at some point, like after the final mild spoilers, bad things. Um, and, uh, yeah, and then she was like, all these six-year-olds called Khaleesi, yeah, and now no, the name means something very different. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> different. <laughs> and after Westeros is <laughs> biggest murderer. mass murderer. Uh, <sighs> oh, and <laughs> Andy, the service of the says, just make sure Ben doesn't go to the egg room. What's the egg? Uh, do I want to know? Um, Animal Crossing? No, I don't play enough Animal Crossing. But it was a, I play it was a live, games. It was a live, live stream that Luke and I did. Right. So back in the, the heavy heights of Animal Crossing and yeah. during lockdown and everything. When we were all um, a bit mad. When it first launched, it was all during Easter stuff and they had their mm. Easter special event. And it was just like eggs, 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 eggs. <laughs> so I collected a lot of these eggs and did, made all the recipes that you could from these eggs. And I took one room of my house and I just filled it with egg themed items. Okay, great. And <laughs> clearly the actions of a sound mind. Yeah. Luke was streaming. I wasn't on the stream because uh, I, I couldn't, like, something was happening. I was like, just visit my island and I'll talk, I'll give you a tour. I'll be writing, yeah. you know, I'll talk just via the Animal Crossing chat. And uh, yeah, I showed him uh, the egg room. And you were the crazy one going, look at my eggs. Yes. <laughs> mm. I'm like, very normal. Egg, egg, mm. egg. And there's a, like a bed in the middle of the room. And when you get in a, it's a double bed. And when you get in a double bed, you can 
press and you roll over to the other side. So at one point, I just had my character rolling from one side of the bed to the other, just going, egg, egg, egg. <laughs> and I was also dressed in the clothes, oh, which is like a big hat with eggs on Do it. Do you think she likes Easter? <laughs> We were all working through some stuff for the long time. It's fine. It's fine. We all. I well, I literally wasn't uh, allowed to leave my house. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I think I was dressed as an egg, but for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, this speech was one of my audition speeches. Really? Yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Right. Well, did, did you do? Did you have the voice in mind when you went in for the audition? No, I auditioned for something else, and then uh, they they kind of um, sprung it on me in the room, and I oh. just read it and. I actually, um, yeah, it's, it, I imagine the, the, the voice kind of evolved over time. Mm. Um, but yeah, it's about kind of finding the emotions really for Clive. And I think because of the journey that he goes on, you have to sh maybe showcase that you are capable of going on that emotional journey. And yeah. So I had like speeches and scenes from various points in the game that, sh that showcase a variety of emotions. And stuff. And yeah, I remember being very emotional in the room on a sight read. Um, which is great. Yeah. Well, it must be nice when the, if you're sight reading some material, it must be nice if it, it has some meat to yeah. it, right? And you, yeah. you know, you know. Yeah, it was awesome. Who is this? This lady's trouble. I'm just going to say it right now. This lady's trouble. <laughs> you you were that now? Yeah. She's, killed, she's killed many people. <laughs> I think it's quite clear. Three and a half trouble. hours in after multiple murders. <laughs> yeah. This lady's bad news, folks. My detective thought <laughs> yeah. that maybe she's bad news. <laughs> So this is this is a hooded man mm. who does not fight. Could this be gift. the second dominant of fire? Mm. Well, I'm going to say yes because you've played this game and also you're in it. I'm also just just suggesting. <laughs> <laughs> just throwing out there. Hmm. If she's going to turn into some giant monster, she should do it right now. Stomp, yeah. Stomp on her. Yeah. Well, I think she's she's being used Join to get the fire person to one of our kind get fired up. Yeah. Mm. She oh. loves to poke people with that sword, doesn't she? Who's this person they're leaning against? So that's the that's, that's the, the dominant, that's, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 And that's their friend, and it's like, don't do what I say. I'm gonna mess your mate up. Yeah. Yeah. I'll give you a moment mm. to consider mm. your options. You'd be gentle with them. Oh, you weren't. Yeah. Woman. Yeah. There you More go. of a do as I say, not as I do kind of situation. Is that what you're saying? Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, Cranador um, in Discord reminding me that, oh, right, she made him wear an egg costume too. Yeah, so when Luke came to my island, I he had to wear an egg costume. So he was dressed yeah, there's a dress code. There's a dress code to the egg island. You're not Sorry. stepping out of the boat unless you put yeah. the egg on. Yeah. Don't tell me I'm not well adjusted. I'm very well adjusted. It's an egg island. <laughs> of course, there's a uniform. Yeah, At least you're committing to the theme. The strongholds, who are apparently not strong enough to okay. keep out the royalists. The so who are the royalists again? Are they the imperials? Is that the same thing? Um, I'm losing track. Do you know what's a really good, what's a really good thing is if you press it's that? My, my big law button. My big button of law. <laughs> big button of law. All right. <gasps> Sidolf. Sidolfus Telemon. Yeah. It's less cool than just Sid, isn't it? Gav. Gavolfus. Gadolfus. Benedictolfus. <laughs> Benedict, <laughs> Benedict, Benedict Harmon and Cair Norvin. So I'm in Lost Wing. You this are is one of these wing. crashed flying cities. Ooh. Yeah. Cair Norvin is where we're heading yeah. off to. Right, there you go. Key strategic Pretty. position. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sufficient storehouses. Listen, I know, I know it's pronounced jail, but whenever I see it written... Gaul! Gaul. <laughs> In my head, please know I'm always saying Gaul, even if I say jail. <laughs> okay? <laughs> oh, we must put him in the Gaul. Excellent question. Excellent question, Gav. Outside the care, enjoy no life free to safety. And miss all the fun, why can't he do that? This is fun. Clyde doesn't have your nose. Oh, I'm Posodian. Do you like also reminding me that I then ran off, went, ch got changed, waited in the airport, and then as Luke was leaving, I was like, oh, Luke, you finally got here. <laughs> 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 
surprises. Wow, I missed this stream entirely, and it's probably a good thing because I would have been. It sounds like it scarred a lot of people. For your mental state. <laughs> <laughs> I was in a really weird mood. <laughs> Apparently so. Let's do it. We gotta wait until tomorrow. Uh, wait, Corinne says she summons eggs, and her name is Benedict. <laughs> eggs, Benedict. Benedict. Oh my god! Oh, thank the, you, everyone. The puns, yes. puns upon puns upon puns. Thank you. Oh, that's really good. You don't want to wait. Thank you, everyone. Oh. If there's one thing we can take away from this, it's just all egg puns. Mmm. Eggy. <laughs> I always think of Eggy there's bread. A, um, a very funny creator who does really old recipes on TikTok. Really? And this is, this is lovely. I think he's American, and he goes, Eggy. And it's great. <laughs> Um, well, that's, I mean, yeah, I just put, put a link in the say, comments below. Yeah, 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 I'll have to share. Hang on. <laughs> I, um, I follow an Instagram account called Weird Old Food, and it's all, like, recipes from the 70s that are just made of, like, aspic and stuff. It's, it all Delicious. looks really, really horrible. <laughs> but that's sort of the point of the account. Um, Quinton. There he is. Who does he remind me of? What, as a person? It, yeah, I know, it's his face. I think he looks a bit like Christian Horner, the uh, team principal of Red Bull Racing. Yeah, that's him. But with less. That's official, that's who it's based on. The one who's married to Jerry Halliwell. Jerry Horner. No. Jerry Horner. Yeah. Yeah. Name, so I will DM you and I will share thank you. some of my Thank you, very good. Well, all right, let's remind you that we're at the Virgin Media Gamepad. Here yeah. we are. <laughs> there we are. <laughs> let, me, let me pop up the little thing. There, there it is. It is. Hey. Hashtag Virgin Media Gamepad. It's an awesome space where you can come and play games yeah. for free. And if you're a priority member, you can book the cave, which we streamed from a couple of weeks ago during the launch weekend when we had Simon Miller along, and it is like the ultimate couch co-op setup. So there's like a big old sofa, the TV's enormous, the sound system is incredible. So yeah, if you're on the Priority app, um, you, can book, you can book the cave, come and hang out with your mates. There's been a bunch of people in and out today. Now that the place is sort of open to the public, um, I've been wandering past and people having a great time playing Rocket League and all sorts. So yeah, check it out. It's at the O2, uh, nearest tube station is North Greenwich. Um, yeah, come and, come and find it. If it's really fun. fun. It's great. It's very, very cool. That's what I just kept saying as we were walking through, going, guys, this is so fun. <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah, it's like it's like a grown-up play pen. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Yeah, if you're... Uh, <laughs> it is. If your significant other is not into games, but they're into shopping, there's an outlet mall, and what they can do is leave you here like you're in a creche yeah. while they go and do some shopping. It's yeah. perfect. It's like an adult creche. It's yeah. great. Or they can leave you here whilst they go and see Little Mix or yep. go yeah. and see Jack whatever. Whitehall is on tonight, Jack, apparently. There you go. Comedian Jack Whitehall. Yeah, he really... I mean, he does, he's not the spitting image of Christian Horner, but he does remind me. Yeah. Ooh, the hanged man. Mm. Yeah, so uh, as you go throughout the game, you'll turn up to various settlements and then they will give you these little, uh, little crests or mm. things, mm. little badges that mean that you can go and shop. To your heart's content. Oh, shop, nice. shop, to your, shop to your drop. Like a loyalty card. Yeah, I was about to say. Yeah, it's like a boot. It's a boots like advantage. A card. It's a nectar card. <laughs> it's a nectar card. It's yeah. It's that. Again, it's about this really reflecting real life. <laughs> yeah. It's about the threads that connect you know, contemporary life and medieval yeah. life. Put them to good use and find that dominant. All right. right. Let's do it. Oh, it's uh, B. Dylan Hollis. B. Dylan Hollis. Very good. Creed. Always yeah, B. Dylan Hollis. Hollis. Get your pens out, everyone. Thank you, yeah. thank you to folks in the chat and Discord. Write that down, please. Right, what? I, I can need to get up there. You but do, yeah. If you turn around. Down here and up and round. Oh, and maybe out. you can try that. This nice. I do love a uh, labyrinthine, uh, complicated city, but I also have a terrible sense of direction. Yeah. yeah. So I do struggle. We're just asking about the like on a fire, aren't we? <laughs> Quentin must think we're important. It was a good thing you done today. Getting rid of those bad words. Bad word. Yeah. And when you did. Another bad word. Wash your mouth out with soap. Yeah. Please, there are children around. Was there a dominant among them? A dominant of fire. Someone think of the children. 
I just realised I've been really bad at this game with like a super powerful sword as well. That's embarrassing. Yeah. No, you've been it, really good at the game. It's hard to talk and fight and get your parry yeah. timings right and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In fact, I, I don't think I've done a single parry so far. I've done a lot of dodging. You have done. You, you did. You did do quite a few parries. I saw okay. them. Um, you did them accidentally. <laughs> Thanks, no problem. Man. No problem. Thank you. <laughs> you did look really good when you were doing them. Oh, okay, yeah. I kept going, oh, cool, Mike's so I'm sure cool. my face was like, like this. I was like, oh, Mike looks amazing. It's so <laughs> cool. Such a you cool. looked at me and there was a, a line of drool coming out of the side of my face. Such a good gamer. Pro gamer. <laughs> pro gamer. Pro strength. Well, <laughs> as we've always said on Outside Xbox, we are MLG pro gamers. Yeah. All right. Not that way. Not that way. Can I jump off? No. You can go around there. Snap my shins off, and uh, no, uh, you can't. Oh no, it's just a nice little balcony. Lovely little view of where you're gonna go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Toggle, like, Toggle, yeah. Mate. We came all the way up the stairs. What happened to that animal instinct of yours? Exactly. <coughs> Leave it to the dog. There's another balcony. My dog will do that sometimes, though. When I'm pretty, being pretty indecisive, Milton will just follow me around the house, thinking, "Where are we going? Where are we going?" Yeah. Like, I'm so sorry, I've lost my keys. <laughs> <laughs> Convinced you've got a plan. Yeah. And there is Milton's no plan. Such a good name. Yeah. <laughs> Is it a Paradise Lost sort of vibe or what? Uh, sure, <laughs> sure, yeah, yeah. It's John Milton. Uh, we, anyone who asks us, we always just say it's it's whatever you want it to be. It's Milton yeah. Keynes. It's Milton. Oh. Uh, whatever. It's fine. We just yeah, Milton. It just suits him. It's yeah. just <laughs> I like people names on dogs. Yes. I, and cats especially. So like my D and D character befriended a wild cat. She calls it Simon. Hmm. So yeah. You know, because I, I, I do, really want a cat called Dave. I've know? been, I, there's a dog that we walk, when we walk Milton, there's a dog called Jamie. Um, oh. And I just think that like, I just think like dogs called Sarah, or like, <laughs> you know, I just, they're just excellent names because it's just a human name. It's not a dog name. Yeah, it gives them a degree of like yeah. dignity and gravitas that, yeah. that is beyond. This is pet. Sarah. Like what? No, Sarah. <laughs> no, it's not. It's a dog. And those people who give them the surname as well. Like, so yeah. when it's part when the dog is part of a family, yeah. it's like, this yeah. is Sarah Johnson. Yeah. <laughs> Sarah Johnson. <laughs> Sarah Johnson has like long flowing hair. It's one of those Afghan hounds. Yeah, yeah. Sarah Johnson. Oh, 100%. Yeah. I was once uh, like chilling out in this lovely park and this cute bulldog came along real like snuffly like, like well, and then I just heard, Lucy! <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Remember the old Fenton video? Yeah. Fenton. Fenton. Didn't they put that? They put that in um, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Did they? Yeah, oh, they. So many references in that game. I remember it was, it was Fenton. You're looking for Fenton, and Fenton yeah. was actually a mm. sheep, I think. A yeah. yeah. sheep in that game. I did that. Oh, I, mean. I have um, a. So, you know, uh, growing up in West London, uh, Richmond Park was a place that I used to frequent with my family mm. a fair bit. And uh, we've actually got. I've got a video pre Fenton of another Labrador type dog, like we're feeding oh. the ducks, and this dog just comes in on the video and goes, Hom! <laughs> and attacks one of the kids, and they're like, Quick attack, for the dog! <laughs> oh no. Oh dear. <laughs> of course, my, <laughs> my dad like zooms in on yeah. the duck as it's like, Oh no! Oh, God! <laughs> I was like, I don't think they can put it on YouTube because it's one yeah. duck. This isn't going to go viral. No. It's <laughs> more nature documentary no. than ha yeah. ha ha dog. And it's just my mum going like, come on, girls, let's go over here. <laughs> just get away oh from the Oh my god. <laughs> the Waluders. They've Waluded us. Do you still have the video? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, isn't the English language amazing? <laughs> isn't it amazing? That's what we've learned today. What a beautiful Anything. tool. <laughs> All right, we've got 17 minutes. Oh, we'll definitely get to Care Northern by then. Okay. Mm. All right. Quentin. Quentin. Everyone was like, oh, Quentin really likes you. Oh, I thought you were in bed with Sid. I'm like, what, what, what's yeah. going on here? <laughs> Does this thing mean something I don't yeah. realise it means? Is it one of these, like, handkerchief parties or something? Yeah, one of those. Yeah. <laughs> Better than a wet rock. Oh my gosh, Adam Hinton says Final Fantasy 16 PC version Milton mod definitely happening. I would be, I would, like, someone clipped it. Yeah. In um, where they could probably possibly get the dog model 
because I, I know mods do this in different ways, but like there's a really good uh, Yorkie dog model in Watch Dogs 2. Mm. So just kind of like if you could do that, and shrink down the yep. animations. It's tiny. He's a tiny boy. He's about this big. He's about this big. Like this big. Um, They'll have to make it massive so it doesn't like break how the game works though probably so it'll just be a giant version of Milton <laughs> even better an yeah. enormous yeah, dire wolf really good a dire Milton because like, also like because Yorkie's heads are so big compared to the rest of their body just yeah. from the fluff like, yeah, 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 more than yeah. anything but that's well, great that's great great so many good um, it gets easier don't worry good cat and dog names in here so okay. someone's like we'll my sister had a corgi named Toby 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 one of my childhood cats, Izzy Mary says, was Desmond. <laughs> Desmond. So uh, austere. There's Ken Orman. Yes. Right. Up those, uh, up those stairs. Yeah. Not Ken, that way. No, not those stairs. Right. Not those stairs. Just up there. That's us. Jesus. Right there. Okay, good. Right. And again? Oh, yeah, up there. Yeah. And then double back on yourself. And then back. Then oh, off you go. That lovely stone wall. Oh, it's lovely. Oh yeah. Lovely. I love a drive. I love a <laughs> Sorry, we're gonna take a private moment yeah. with the stone wall. Uh, oh. oh wow. Wee. Oi. <laughs> I know there since. There's one that I used to from university. I went to uni in Scotland. There's a lot of really good dry stone walls in Scotland. Yeah. And there was one that I used to walk past on the way to my flat back yeah. from town in the first two years. Yeah. And it was just, I really you know there is um there's an amazing channel 4 documentary that you can watch on youtube um uh, that is about i think it's like i'm in love with the eiffel tower and it's about, oh no, yeah um, that, it's the one about people woman, yeah. people who are in love with inanimate objects wow. so there's a woman who's in love with the ferris oh, wheel i wouldn't person. say that <laughs> It's just, it's just the danger. way you described it <laughs> yeah. is very similar. Going, yeah. There was a stone wall that I used to pass and yeah. I had many romantic moments with the stone <laughs> wall. Um, it's just a very... Uh, but it, yeah, this person has like a full relationship <laughs> with, with like a church organ and yeah. stuff. Yeah. And, Weird. Yeah. But that's uh, fine, you know. Mm -hmm. To each their own. Yeah. Absolutely. It's, it's not hurting anyone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but just a really, a really fascinating documentary that you can watch on mm. YouTube and I recently rewatched it. Um, very, very much worth a view. <laughs> <laughs> if you take anything away from this, don't play yeah. Final Fantasy 16. Watch you that documentary. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, All right. Great. This is, I like this bit because you kind of go into more of one of these like open areas. Now. Yeah. So we're about to, well, we're getting close to it. We'll head towards Ken Orvin, which we'll see on the, on the horizon. Mm. And you're heading towards the stage. So. Could we have gone to sleep and done this in the daytime or not? No, 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 no. This is very much a nighttime activity. Right, okay. Not for the, for the purposes of... There's only lights here. Oh. <laughs> the same <laughs> But again, just a great example of what the English language can do. <laughs> we should celebrate it. Excess through gritted teeth. No. Ha, ha, ha. Very funny again. Ha, ha. <laughs> Oops. Oopsie. A royal, royal Gand Freya. Yep. Yeah. You know one of them. I'm going to be fraying my... Gant. Gant. <laughs> today. You won't be fraying my gun today. <laughs> we'll have gone pop then, right? Good night. <laughs> there you hey. go. I give it. I just give it. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. That's good. People, like are that. people are crying out for a pun. Yeah. <laughs> I go towards sparkly things. That's what I do. Yeah. That, I mean, that is the that is the video gamer in all of us, right? Mm. Is just go towards the sparkliest thing. But I appreciate them making them sparkly because any game where I have to actually root around for stuff, I just don't have the patience for it. Yeah. Whereas here, it's like I know there's something up here on the left. There and it I will, is. Oh, that's bad. Luck. But I'll hoover it up as I go past. Yeah. That's it. Well, what I think is really interesting about video games, I mean, this might not be interesting, is how much like. Um, pre-existing knowledge we have of the way that video games work yeah so Learned you take yeah exactly pre-learn you come in and you go well i understand that this is where attack should be this is what dodge should be this mm. is what all mm -hmm. of these things should be and there's so many things about playing video games that you've done for decades mm. that we just take for granted and so when people haven't played these games for the first time mm -hmm. yeah. they don't have those learned things that we have um yeah they don't understand that you run over a sparkly thing it sort of is sucked up into your pockets. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Well, this is real. That's real life, though. <laughs> yeah, my um, dad got an Xbox 
360 years ago to, to be able to play Netflix on his telly. And I was like, great. So I bought him all these games like that, you know, would be, you know, up his alley. He likes murder mysteries and things like that. So I got him like L.A. Noir. And I was like, I'd be interested to see how you think of this. Yeah. You know, it's really funny. Like sometimes you say, oh, maybe you're guilty. And he shouts a bit on and, uh, <laughs> like doubt. You did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Admit you did it. I think um, they're innocent. You're innocent. Yeah, and uh, yeah, but it, it was like try, but no. And I, was, I was like trying to find the games that were like um, fairly accessible. Yeah, like, wouldn't kick you up too much. You see that line about they'd have my head in a box. Yeah. What's in the box? What's in the box? <laughs> What's in the box? <laughs> <laughs> do it again. Um, no, but yeah, like I'm just, I'm like. My just my go-to is always Journey. If anyone says, "What's the first game you should ever play?" Ooh. Journey always uh, would be yeah. my be my first port call. Mm -hmm. um, just because of the simplicity of it, and um, also it's just obviously an amazing video game. But it just distills everything great about video games into kind of one easy to digest two-hour experience. Mm. I think the game I've managed to get my mom to play is Rock Band. Yeah. Yeah, okay. you know the kind of musical guitar hero type stuff. I think it's just like you know, colored the colored buttons make sense, and you understand yeah. the concept of strumming a guitar. So That's why Nintendo have just nailed it for years. Yeah, yeah. the, the Wii, Wii. the Wii. It was just like all you need to do is just wave this thing around, which we all understand, and mm. you get that tactile response. Right, here we go. We're getting into about Benedicta. Yeah, bro talk. It's guy talk time. Yeah, slap talk. Not now, close. But okay. <laughs> Warden of the Wind. Warden of the Wind. I feel Clive spends a lot of time contemplating things. He's very contemplative. He does, he does. He's, he absorbs, he's a real good listener. He's a very thoughtful gentleman. Yeah. And I, what I love most about this game and what it has allowed me as an actor to do is go on a proper journey. Mm. Mm. He, he really starts out in one place and moves to something very, very different towards the end. Comic relief at the end. Yeah, he's he's just cracking them. There's <laughs> yeah, a bit, there's a bit, jokes. there's a bit where he does a stand-up routine. And it's just, yeah. it's just banging. Yeah. Um, it's a yakuza the, the style. The final, the final boss fight is a roast. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah it is. It's like one of the yakuza mini games. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Except yeah, yeah. it's just jokes. There she is up on the battlements. There she is. Mm. With the her nails look amazing. I yeah. was just about to say, like, oh, it's a great, yeah. someone's done a great nail job there. Like, fair play. If you're going to have the power of an icon, yeah, you're, you're going to use it. You've got to be it. iconic. Yeah, there <laughs> we go. That's it. With the... Eastern territories all but belong to Wait, there are orcs? Wait, is the nudity going on? Who's the sexy man? Yeah, I'm, I'm <laughs> shot. Look, am I going to see a bum today? Is that going to happen? <laughs> well, if you play your cards right. <laughs> yeah, you will. <laughs> a promise is a promice, Mike. <laughs> I think I said we wouldn't go into the arrangements that got you. Okay, yeah. like. People flock to the mother crystals. David Menken, brilliant as Barnabas. Nice. He also Barnabas plays Breach in Valorant. Really? Uh, yeah. He's the voice of many, many things. Dag in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. That's cool. So what other games have you been in? I know, you, you know, obviously this is a yeah, huge, I, meaty role, but you, yeah. will have, you will have appeared in other games, presumably. Uh, yeah, but like much, much smaller stuff. I was actually in Quantum Break, various voices in hey, Quantum Break. Hey, I no, I remember seeing your name in the, yeah, in the, in the credits. Yeah, I was looking out for this John was also. Yeah. John's, uh, uh, you, you know the running joke of my friend John, who's in The Witcher and... Yeah. He played things. Dandelion. Played Dandelion in the Witcher. Yeah. I just, I just like bigging up my friends. Okay, yeah. when, I, very when they do, when they're cool, talented people, I like to shout it from the rooftops. Um, but yeah, you've worked with John Schwab is the reason I do video games. Yeah, he's the person who recommended me to the place, and then you know, ten years later or whatever, I mm -hmm. got, I got Final Fantasy. But I would do like small stuff, like mm -hmm. I did. Um, yeah, I did Quantum Break. I did a couple of like. Um, RTS games. I did. Um, what was the Haze Light game before It Takes Two? Um, a Way Out. I met. I met. What's his face? Joseph. Joseph, oh. Joseph Harris. I was in a booth with Joseph Harris before Joseph Harris was Joseph Harris. Yeah. And, was just, and I was like, "You are mad, man." Yeah. We played with him. Yeah. We played part of the game with him. Um, 
and uh, yeah, we went to the, the offices in London, and it was like, which one of you wants to play with? And Luke was like, "Can you do it?" Yeah. <laughs> I think he's like, "I." His <laughs> energy is incredible, and even then, I was like, "God, you're a personality." Yeah, right. and it was. I think it's the only video that we've been like, "Hey, yeah, there's going to be swearing at this." We couldn't. We yeah, couldn't. <laughs> and that man cannot be shackled, yeah. even in the. He was great, and that like. He was and, so nice. Uh, yeah, I just I did that, and you know, I, but you know who I did? I really loved. I I play young Vesemir in the uh, now uh, defunct. Witch AR game, The Witch of the Monster Slayer. Huh. So I, I play, I'm canon, technically canon, young Vesemir in that. So I had to, cool. which I would really love doing. It's a shame that like that game ended up not, you know, going forward, but it was really fun to do and to kind of, I watched like all of The Witcher 3. Well, I probably played The Witcher 3, but I went back and watched a load of the videos and had to copy the actor's voice and do like a younger version. That's cool. That must be an interesting, it was interesting really challenge. It was an interesting challenge, I'm yeah. glad you spoke so engagingly about that stuff because we very nearly saw a bum. <laughs> <laughs> but I was so, I was so distracted by... Look over here, look over here, look over here. There's no bum. <laughs> it's um, fine. It's free, fine. Free can make sure eight fifty. 813, sorry, uh, so this question for Ben. Yes. How does it feel being in a Final Fantasy game series that you've played since you were little and being the main character being immortalised in your video game? Immortalised? How do you think it feels? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, I, you've said it, it's, the, it's, the, it's, my, it's crazy. <laughs> it's the coolest thing that could ever happen to me. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think another thing will happen to me in my life, career related, that is as important, uh, life changing. Like, so what you're saying is you've peaked. I have, <laughs> but I like I. What what a way, way to, to peak! peak. I, <laughs> yeah. Like your favorite your favorite franchise in entertainment. Yeah. yeah. They've said, do you want to you know be the next lead character in it? I think mm -hmm. it's just like the coolest thing that could possibly mm. happen to me. Yeah. Yeah. I I, lo I love it, and the fact that Clive has been so like warmly received as a character mm. is even cooler. Um, so yeah, that, that is how it feels. You know, you said that you were in an RTS game. Yes. Are you familiar with the greatest line read in video games of okay. all time? Go on. Which is Tim Curry in Command and Conquer, Conquer Red Alert 3. So I don't know the line exactly, but I know what you're talking about. It's The line is, I'm escaping to the one place that hasn't been corrupted by capitalism, space. Okay. And if you could deliver that as Clyde, okay. I think it would make my life. I am escaping to, I'm the, escaping to, to the, the one place, place that hasn't, hasn't been corrupted by capitalism capitalism's space. Yeah, mm -hmm. I know. Yeah. And there needs to be a kind of yeah, yeah. the gap. Oh, I know. I know it. I know that. I'm just going to the one place that hasn't been corrupted by capitalism's space. I'm escaping to the one place that hasn't been corrupted by capitalism. Space. <laughs> yes. Sorry, I know go. that isn't how Clyde would say it, but like... <laughs> it's very good. Spice! <laughs> <laughs> Spice! <laughs> yeah. Uh, and we've got, we've got the gifts in the disc. There it is. There, there is. it is. Big Choo -choo. love. Oh, yes. Big love. Because it's more like this, it's more like... Spice! Spice! <laughs> I, lo I love that. I love that line read. I love that they left it in. I just love Tim Curry. He's just such a hero. When you get kind of mercurial actors mm. like that, and I actually put Ralph in the same in, in the same boat, where you just go, they're going to give you what they give you. Oh right? yeah. yeah. And it's just you've got to kind of go for it. It's like you you hire Jeff Goldblum, you hire Christopher Walken, mm. because there is no other person who yeah. can do what they do, and you just go, yeah, sure, that isn't how I imagine the line, but that's how it's going to happen. Yeah. And I, I, you know, Ralph is probably a little bit more kind of straight down the line, but still. Sid is the way that he is because of Ralph's like very mercurial performances, yeah. mm. and I love that when you get people who just go, "Yep, they're going to do what they do." But the Tim Curry thing is another level because he's literally oh, it's another he's level. Co he is corpsing as the line is being read. Like yeah. he just he grabs it back, he like tackles it to the it's ground, and delivers the final line. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> what a hero! One of the great. No, I wasn't in commanding. Uh, no. Company of Heroes is what it was. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's a good game. We've done some Company of Heroes stuff. Have you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Recently? Fun one. Yeah. yeah. Lots of running around and trying to not get shot at. It's great. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Trying and often failing, I would mm -hmm, say. Mm -hmm. In my case. Yeah, I think Luke had better luck than you. Right. <laughs> so, luck. Yeah, it's, it's definitely luck and not skill. <laughs> um, all right. All right, let's go. Let's kill this video. Royal, uh, Royal Oss Freya. No one's going to be fraying my Oss today. Yep. <laughs> okay, shall we say it? Yeah. No one's going to be fraying my Oss today. 
<laughs> All right, we've not got long left actually. We're it's yeah. nearly at six o'clock. So let me just dispatch these bad guys, and then, mm -hmm. we'll, then we'll wrap up. Yeah. Can we have some more lines in the chat very quick? Yeah, so last one. I'll pick one. I'll pick the best one. Pick your favorite. Yeah, get your best yeah. lines in. Yeah. If it's from a high school related yeah. teen comedy, yeah. all yeah. the better. Yes. Um, right. Ooh, another flick from Torgal. He's very athletic. Torgal and Dean. Torgal. <laughs> Torgal and Dean. There's probably a character called Dean in this, yeah. isn't there? Clive, Dean, Rodney. Uh, they are good named characters. <laughs> you texted me that as well last week, like, Rodney as well. <laughs> I was like, yes! Great character with a great arc. <laughs> All right, cool. Let's, um, let's switch back over to our full screen thing. Just to remind you, we are here at the Virgin Media Gamepad. Let me just show, show what it looks like. Oh. Here it is, there in all its gleaming red glory in the lobby of the O2 here in London. Uh, there's the playground with 16 stations where you can play Xbox Game Pass uh, Ultimate games. Uh, it's all got these kind of pixel designs and stuff. There's the cave, which is the ultimate couch co-op setup. And we're here in the stage as well, which is the live streaming booth. Uh, and we're doing a residency. We're doing a load of streams from here. It's great fun. Um, go on then, Ellen. What's the what's the okay. final winning line? Right. Okay. Um, look, I know we've already had a gold bloom one already. Okay. But, uh, okay. Life uh, finds a way. Life uh, uh, finds a way. Okay, here we go. Life uh, finds a way. Nice. Oh, also, I'm really sorry, but um, this one is for Luke and Andy for their podcast that they do. I'm gonna. Ask oh. Them. Go, Marnie. It's just an evil spell that freezes us. And bear in mind um, that uh, our, another friend of the channel who's also in Final Fantasy uh, has recorded this for them before. Okay. So the line is, go, Marnie. It's just a spell that freezes it's us. It's just an evil spell an that evil freezes spell that us. An evil spell that freezes us. Go, Marnie. It's just an evil spell that freezes us. <laughs> Perfect. Yes. There we go. go. There, there you go. go. That is Put incredible, that in. incredible work. Ben, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you it's much been me. hugely entertaining, really informative as well. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I'm super pleased for you because this you. is an amazing piece of work uh, and you, you do a great job along with a load of other brilliant actors. So um, yeah, thank you so much for joining us here at the Virgin Media Gamepad. It's yeah. been great fun. Yeah. Uh, where can people find you on sort of socials and things? Oh, you can find me chirping on about Final Fantasy <laughs> and video games that I love. Uh, and on, not discussing the ending. And not discussing the ending. Um, I'm on Twitter and Instagram at the, T-H-E, underscore Ben, underscore Star with two R's. There you go. Mm. Awesome. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you head over to Outside Xbox now, there is a video where we play AW Fight Forever. Uh, me and Andy playing wrestling games, you know how it goes. Uh, so head over to Outside Xbox right now for that. Um, and otherwise, have a wonderful weekend. Thank you so much to Virgin Media Gamepad for uh, hosting us for this live stream. And um, we'll see you next time. Have a lovely weekend. Bye. Bye. Bye.